Hello and welcome to Antipode D&D, a show in which a bunch of Australians play Dungeons and Dragons in a setting partly inspired by prehistoric Australia and New Zealand. I am David, I have returned to the Dungeon Master seat, and I am joined as ever by my players, April, Kynwen, Doug and Zindi. So, uh, our heroes have had a bit of downtime. We'll uh, not cover right now what's been happening in that time. So imagine we're just sort of cold cutting to this new episode. Um, imagine it's a it's a TV show. Season three is beginning, beginning, and it begins with the three words. It says five months later. It's nowhere nearly as autonomous as it sounds. Actually, just a bit of time has passed. It's winter. It is uh, the month of Gem, named for Gemdanan. Uh, it is <clears throat> a Revels Day, which is the sixth day of the week, or so is the sixth day of the month, because uh, these cycles of the uh, uh, the months are evenly uh, divided um, into 13 months per year, because it's uh, with 28 days per month, because it makes it so much easier for me to just track time. Um, <clears throat> so uh, you, you, the camera comes in on the city of Providence there. It, it is a cold day. Um, uh, like we're, uh, in terms of degrees, we're talking like maximums of 15 or 16 in the city. So for most people in the rest of the world, not really a cold day, yeah, but well, for anyone who's Australian, <laughs> oh my, no, my lord. Yeah, and that's Hang Celsius. on, we have to translate it. 15 yeah, yeah, put it into... Uh, I'm talking 50, in Celsius. 59 Fahrenheit. Yeah, yeah, yeah 59 Fahrenheit. points. Mm. So it's not as cold as it sounds in Fahrenheit. Um, so, uh, zooming in over the city of Providence, where there have been a few changes made, uh, some developments, some uh, earthworks have been put up, a few forts have appeared. I do not have the m new map ready to show you yet. I'm still working on it, so we'll go over that later. Uh, but the camera zooms in on the arena of Providence which has been repaired, the damage that was suffered uh, during the attack from the Ascendancy of Tarth has been fixed up, um, the, the, uh, and there have been a few upgrades to the arena. It has somehow doubled in size because the Dungeon Master realised he got his measurements wrong when he first uh, drew up the battle map. And uh, from inside uh, the arena, uh, you can see there is uh, the seats are filled. Uh, with uh, the people of Providence, of all kinds of races, all walks of life. Um, and in the center of the arena, there is a play being performed. So the uh, a group who've become known as the Love It Darling Players hey. uh, are performing an extract from uh, their latest play, which uh, will be opening soon in this on this very stage, and uh, the play is called "Unmasked: The Fall of Coverfen." <laughs> nice. And uh, the audience have been watching with delight this extract, uh, where <clears throat> uh, Coverfen, um, uh, the the masked uh, mage, played by uh, Sapphire, the water genasi. Mm. Um, and it's having this climactic standoff uh, against uh, Princess Imrana and uh, the four heroes of Providence. Uh, that is Vitericus, played by Alos Featherwing, who uh, used to play the role of Captain Lover Darling. Wow. Uh, <laughs> the sexy one. Icon. As is only fair. <laughs> Dagmar played by Wilman Silvercourt, who is uh, the female gnome of the troop. Orsi, oh. Orsi is being played by Harath uh, Arkanicht, who is the high elf woman. <laughs> yeah. And Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Morzod is being played by Lazak Stagebreaker, the Goliath. <laughs> yes. And oh, I want to go watch it. Yeah. Princess oh, Imrana is being played by a marionette doll, that is being operated by Nirek, the stage oh. manager. Uh, Interesting choice. And the princess does not speak. She only is marionette, you know, puppeteer to whisper Jenny. into somebody's ear, like Sooty would do. 
on the <laughs> yeah the sorty show with the little puppet. Things that only Australians will get. <laughs> um, I think Sorty was, was British. I was going to say, was he Australian? I think he was, British? yeah. Actually, yeah British pretty British. But he was, he was very popular in Australia. I was always a Mr. Squiggle yeah. girl. Because so. the, good, the goodies referenced Sorty. Mm, there was a whole, yes. episode, mm, whole episode okay. where um, they set up a puppet government, which means Sorty is now the Prime Minister. <laughs> Um, I like that. I yeah. like that. Anyway, sorry. Sidetrack. Sidetrack. Puppet and um, runner. It ends up with you know basically the goodies going to war with you know, a room full of puppets. It's of course <laughs> surreal. Um, no, know, it's the goodies. <laughs> if you want to see Bill and Ben the Flower Puppet Man get dismembered limb by limb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, the play uh, is has been written in the style of the. Uh, rather florid plays are being produced at the Crown Theatre in Heron's Perch, but it's almost, you can tell that they're meant to be more a satire of the style mm. rather than, uh, and rather than honouring it. Uh, it makes so, a character, I love that. Uh, the audience knows the story, you know, that, you know, word has gotten, about, gotten out about, you know, what happened in Heron's Perch. Uh, and so when, uh, Cova Fenn's uh, monologues about um, her grand scheme and, you know, how clever she is and how nobody under, you know, nobody will see it coming. Uh, you, the audience is already laughing um, and giggling at uh, the foreshadowing, the, the double innuendo, the, you know, everything that's a uh, double entendre, the in, innuendo, you know, everything that she's saying um, uh, that is uh, leading up to her ultimate demise. And finally, she there's the scene where she enters uh, the throne room in Heron's Perch, and uh, stands off having uh, stands off against the heroes of Providence, um, who have uh, revealed her treachery to the princess. And Cova Fenn says, "Thou wouldst pick a party against me, the one and only Cova Fenn. Know you not my powers great, my schemes greater still." At my whim doth the heavens cry, and sprinkle your farms with rain. With my wink the sun shines down again, and all bow to my will. My throne rests upon the skulls of those who blocked my path. Think upon the works of she who now strive to kill. And she goes on, she lists her many achievements, uh, all of the things that the audience has seen the other characters undo over the past twenty minutes or so. Uh, and then uh, Vitericus, the actor playing Vitericus, uh, speaks back and a word of, you know, battle of wits happens between them. And all the while you can see the actor playing Dagmar sneaking up behind Cova <laughs> Fenn yes. with yes. Uh, something that is probably meant to be a dagger, but is, of course, you know, uh, you know two to three feet long because you need to be able to see it from mm -hmm. the stalls. So an oversized nerf sword. And finally, Cova Fenn tires of Vitericus' speak, speaking and says, Babbling man, cease your prattle, I see through your trick. You will not distract me with your words. And then, with a simple gesture from Dagmar, Cova Fenn says, But lo, I feel a prick. <laughs> and That's with, a good one. With laughter and applause, um, the scene ends, the... the uh, Actors turn and bow to the audience around them. The uh, uh, audience are on their feet, cheering and applauding. Mozart is losing his shit. And uh, finally, after the voice, uh, the voices start to die down. The actors uh, start to clear the way out of the arena. Uh, Rexlin, the master of ceremonies here at the Arena of Providence, this huge barrel-chested high elf with golden skin and dark long dark green hair and says <clears throat> yeah, addresses the crowd with a thaumaturgical uh, stone that amplifies his voice and says good people of providence please let's hear it once again for the lover darling players uh, their play unmasked will be opening here in a week's time i look forward to seeing all of you then and now the moment that you've been waiting for. Let's hear it for this final grand 
Malay, the... Uh, this is David catching up. Rexler knows exactly what he's saying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a contest of champions. The former champions and current of the arena of Providence. None of these people should need an introduction to any of you, but it's my job, so please welcome. You. She's fight master for a reason. It's Zuka the Horned Glory, and this Yay, Minotaur Glory. in pl in uh, half plate armor steps out into the arena. Let's go! Oh, yeah, gorgeous, handsome. The a merciless barbarian who needs no introduction, please welcome no one. Hey, and no a massive, one. Uh, Come char in the front row. Charcoal skinned half orc <laughs> with uh, a polax white war paint, not wearing any armor. Um, <laughs> she'll kill you three times before you hit the ground. It's what's Dagmar going by in the. Um, she's Brunhilde Eye Shooter as a champion. It's Brunhilde Eye Shooter! And in steps Dagmar. Yay! What's Dagmar looking like now? Okay, well, What's Dagmar wearing? has... She's gone back to, like, full ginger. Um, so, and she now has a particularly lush beard. Um, so you've got her in, like, her full orc dwarf mohawk braid thanks to Morzod's help, and it is full of bones. And then her beard is now quite long. It's a couple feet long. And um, it's similarly braided and filled with bones and little beads that she's whittled to look like skulls in various, like, stages of pain. And she's, so cool. <laughs> and she's wearing um, a glamoured, like, fur-trimmed black hood and cape, which she will cast away to reveal, like, just all black armour. Like, dudded, few little mm -hmm. skull details. Badass. I love it. That is um, so good. And then Thank you. He says, <laughs> and next. Oh, and, and full face paint. Cool. Of course. And next. Naturally. Will he talk his opponents to death? Or will you finally get to see a politician bleed? Everyone, it is the Nightingale! <laughs> what is Vitericus looking like? I think I'm wearing not a million miles off my uh, masquerade ball outfit, so it'll be the same sort of uh, brown suit that I was wearing with the lyrebird uh, tail in full display, uh, walking out to you know the adoration of the crowd and waving and that sort of stuff. Um, with the, um, not with the belt. I was going to say not with, with the belt. belt. Blast, the belt but... is not <laughs> chanting my name. No, no, no. no, 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 no. They should have let the regular they belt. Should, they should have let you have imagine. it. Be I think able I sold all my regular belt for the um, <laughs> just for the just for the intros. But oh well. All right, they'll yeah. chant for you. The real yeah, it's people. True. Can chant. True. It's Rex, true. Rexlin says, and now someone who's not graced this arena for many years. Uh, uh, last time we saw them, they defeated yours truly uh, to claim the, the title of Champion of Providence. Everyone, please welcome Paradise! Ooh, nice. April. April, what yeah. does everyone see? <laughs> Um, everyone sees a devastatingly handsome, what looks like a high elf walk out, uh, very long, golden, intricately braided hair, um, not like Aussie's pale blonde, like a true yellow blonde, um, in shining golden plate mail emblazoned with the image of birds all over the pauldron's uh, wing, they cover his chest in two massive wings, and again on the back, uh, he holds a sword and a shield. And uh, as he walks out, uh, he takes off his massive golden cape. And as he takes it off, the cape explodes into thousands of golden birds that just fly nice. off into the arena. <laughs> and as he does that, his skin starts to change. Uh, and just this regular high elf visage melts away to reveal golden yellow skin, like the gold of a wheat field Ooh. or canola flowers. And gold eyes like his entire eyes are gold and shining irises uh, and yes this is a summer eladrin this is paradise and he takes a big bow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but um, has a rival for showmanship 
He's yeah. in the chat. And the oh, chat was the chat. Oh, I knew it was coming. Oh, look at that handsome devil. Right I was about to demand, but whoa. <sighs> What's up? Wow. And the crowd is that neck. Equal. Uh, half the crowd He's is big. delighted to see the former champion return. The other half doesn't know who this is, but they are very impressed by the entrance. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, he can't. What a smug. And so. Uh, Rexon says, and there we have it, our five former champions who will fight for this belt, and he holds it up, and at this point you're starting to hear, uh, <laughs> boos and jeers coming from the crowd, and Rexon says, what? What's up with you lot? Oh, have I forgotten <laughs> someone? And the crowd starts <laughs> chanting, Rexlin, 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 <laughs> and Rexlin drops the belt to the ground. <laughs> and in a single movement, pulls off his robe. He is sh uh, completely topless, wearing only sash and breeches. Uh, this, uh, you know, just this mound of high elf muscle. <laughs> and the crowd Amazing. roars. <laughs> and he strides to the front of the box and he uh, just lifts up and kicks this rope ladder down, uh, which he uh, you know, nim nimbly climbs down into the arena. And then a couple of you know, hands come up and you know, pull it back up again. That's pretty WWE. I like yeah. that. Um, and in his uh, place, uh, two figures appear in the box. Uh, one is uh, a gnome uh, who you've seen fight in the arena before. Uh, the one called Ankle Slicer. Mm -hmm. Yay! And, uh, Classic. Uh, standing next to Ankle Slicer uh, is Morzod. The half yes. What is Morzod oh, yeah. looking like now? Oh, look, he'll, he'll have rocked up in his Iron Chef outfit um, because <laughs> because obviously he's he's making a bit of a showing there, um, solidarity with the with the God Touched. Um, but he also has an enormous beard. Yes. Like he he is so incredibly beardy at the moment because it's winter. He's grown it in, and my word, there was a reason he was shaving. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this this is like all all of the dwarves in the audience are getting hot and bothered um, with with how beardy this beard is. Um, but otherwise, but otherwise, he's he's more or less the same Iron Chef, the same Morzod, just looking a lot more cozy. We okay. love it. <laughs> so um uh now uh ankle slicer takes over the uh announcing duties and uh says uh and now uh everyone let's hear it for the mages of the coruscant academy as uh uh wizards not just wizards some clerics some druids basically all of the spell casters available come out and start uh shifting the shape of the arena uh, raising earth out of the ground to create obstacles, digging trenches. And I will uh, go ahead and drop this tile once I find it. <laughs> Quick, David, switch back to the other scene so that people can't see. You, know, you don't want to see the sausage being made, do you? <laughs> I mean, we are usually... Speak. But I love checking the video that you upload so that I can see what you have been up to. <laughs> yeah, put it in the blooper reel. <laughs> I'm pleased to say I did remember to remove uh, dungeon, dungeon Master privilege, Privileges from Doug. <laughs> Dang it. Foiled again, Doug. I know, right? Ugh, it's fine. Yo, the last episode, my partner immediately went and watched it. He's not up to date with the rest of Antipode and David. He, he went and watched that one because he wanted to see how the artificer went. Um, and he was like, you know, you could have used the, the this and that attack. And I'm like, yeah, I could have, but I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> you have not used an artificer before. Well. It's true, it's true. Uh, but yeah, the I'm fact that he D &D for very long. immediately, immediately went to look and it was, uh, it was kind of funny. Ooh, ooh. Look, that situation went from uh, zero to a hundred very quickly. <laughs> it did, it did. That's a one shot for you. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, I had such ooh. a good time. And yeah, so, that was very fun. Uh, the new Interesting. Uh, layout appears. You've got uh, essentially these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mounds of earth, um, each of which are about 10 feet tall. 
um, all of which are uh, broad enough that you could stand on them if you want to climb up, and they will definitely provide cover for anybody who is behind them. Um, and if you're upon, if you're on them and your opponent is down below, then uh, they will have a slightly harder time hitting you. <laughs> it's no um, good, Anakin. I have the high ground. There is also <laughs> around the center, uh, around the sort of island in the center, a moat of something that is not water. Uh, but, but it does it not look cute. Currently hard to tell uh, what exactly mm. it is. Mm. Uh, so my vibe is don't go in the not water. I hope there's monsters in Taurus. it. Mm. It's one giant gelatinous thing. It's, it's 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 just an ooze. It's a whole ooze. Oh, but what if it's chocolate though? I was gonna say. Oh, what but if, what if? What, what if, if it if is? What if it is chocolate? Mm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, this while this is happening, uh, uh, you all have a moment to essentially choose where do you want to be. Um, uh, at the beginning of this fight, you must be. Uh, you can be anywhere uh, on the outside of the circle um, and you cannot be within 20 feet of another opponent. But you, uh, other than that, you are free to position yourselves until it's ready to begin. And who have I put? Ah, excellent. That's who I forgot. Ah, uh, you forgot him as well. He's so, not a rogue though, so like he's not staying out of everyone's way. Uh, so Zuka is going to go around here. No one is going to stay there. DM, I have a question related to my character. Yes. Because I'm now a cartomancer um, mm -hmm. and can do all sorts of weird shit with cards, um, I can put a spell into my deck of cards once per long rest. And it doesn't go away. That's a class ability, isn't it? That is a class ability. Yeah, then the arena will allow it. Uh, by explanation, uh, we discussed this before we started playing. Uh, yes. The uh, arena has updated their rules of engagement in that participants are no longer allowed to use uh, magical items that give them advantages that uh, <clears throat> you know, may not be available to others who you know, perhaps don't have the wealth to be able to buy such items or you know the luck to inherit them or you know basically aren't adventurers so in terms of weapons and armor uh, uh if you have magical items in the uh for the purposes of this fight the arena uh isn't insists that you use their loner items to replace them so our heroes are not using their enhanced weapons or enhanced armor unless it's purely for visual uh purposes they have uh, disabled, temporarily disabled the bonuses from the uh, glamoured armour that Batericus and Dagmar wear. Uh, so they only get the visual uh, aspect of their magic. They don't get the plus one to their armour class. Okay. And <clears throat> with our heroes now arrayed around the arena. Um, actually, I will get perception checks from everyone except Orsi and... Yeah. Can I get Dagmar, Vitericus, and Morzod to give me perception checks? All right, Septi, let's do this. <clears throat> I don't even have Orsi's character sheet out. Don't ask me to do anything. Yeah, huh? that's fine. Uh, 22. He's like eating a jar of pickles in the stands or something. Uh, 19. Avocado, right? No, because apparently they're too hard to get. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Actually, that might have changed over the past five months. That's a no! total, of, total of 13. Um, Vitericus and Dagmar, uh, you both notice, uh, your friend Orsi sitting in the audience. Hey. Oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> I mean, Mozart's up in the box, so. Um, and, uh, he's been out of town for a little while, so this is actually the first time you've seen him in, you know, in some time. And what does Orsi look like now, April? His hair's much longer. Like, <laughs> six, how long's it been? Five months? Six months of girth? Yeah. Um... He's wearing... Wouldn't elf oh, hair grow really slowly, though? Because they age really slowly? That's, it's David's world. He gets to decide. It's, it's longer than, than it was. Anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's probably it's... hard to see from this distance, but like you can see like two like silver chains going towards the back of his head. And that's about it, really. He's wearing his usual 
probably in his Coruscant Academy robes, just because there's other Academy mages here. Cool. Okay, and with that, um, Angle Slicer uh, says to the crowd, Now, <clears throat> are you ready? And the crowd goes, Whoa, and to the combatants, she says, And are you ready? And I assume Whoa. you all are. <laughs> and she says, I assume that's a guttural battle cry, less than a woo. And she says, now let's... Today is a good day for somebody else to die. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> no, let's fight. Um, so please go into the uh, combat tab. Oh. Roll your initiative. Roll indeed. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two. Whatever, I'm not a wizard. That's a That's two fine. for Paradise, also known as Astrapian the Splendid. The Splendid. Yeah. <laughs> That's glorious. Uh, so, wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. He just wants to wait and see what everyone else is doing. The fight Biding begins. his time. Tactician. And Vitericus. He's not a joke, I promise. Vitericus, mm. even without advantage on initiative, rolled a, uh, managed to get 24 and is therefore going first. Oh. Oh, that Imagine was a 20 on my, on my shitty initiative. I mean, not shitty no. initiative, but, you know, my bardic initiative. Um, excellent. Perfect. I will take it, and I will go first, then. Um, no need to discern the intent of the other persons in this ring. We are going to beat each other to a pulp, so that is fine. Uh, I am going to move towards Zuka. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Hmm. Let's go to about there, I think. Double check my range real quick. 40 feet. 40 feet is good. We like 40 feet. Let's go for a... Uh, let's start with something nice and simple. Let's start with some Dissonant Whispers uh, cast mm. at a first level. That's at Zuka? That is at Zuka. So Zuka needs to make a Wisdom saving throw for me, please. Oof, that is a nine. That is insufficient. Oh. So Zuka will take... Uh, 3d6 psychic damage, mm -hmm. which is going to be 11 psychic damage. That is not a bad roll off of 3d6. Um, and now must use its reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from me. Okay. And I didn't actually put her speed in the in her stat block, so I need to very quickly double check. Um, oh, 40 feet, maybe? I don't know what a minotaur is. And they could probably get up a good gallop, but it depends what the acceleration's like. True. So I uh, basically created all of these characters essentially as player characters mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. copied their uh, stats down into a stat block uh, for the sake of this fight. But uh, Final Fantasy VI Kefka, let's go. Seem to have forgotten one or two. Oh, wow. She only moves at 30 feet per round. Mm -hmm. Surprised by that. Uh, so, yeah, she's, going she's to real heavy. Gallop away, 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, 30. Yep. She decides she's going to go and pick on no one anyway. Why not? Perfect. Um, so that is basically my turn, except I will also very quickly shuffle my Taraka deck and pull out a card. Okay. Um, let me just double check. There's nothing else attached to Dissonant Whispers. God, this um, arena is so big. No, nah, that's it. Yeah. That's huge. <laughs> you guys are wee tiny dots on that. Um... By the way, it is, do so much measuring. It is still substantially smaller than the Colosseum in Rome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How the heck did they actually see anything then? I suppose it was on the on the. Um, it's not the vibe. I feel like feel like they went for the vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had drones going around. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah LCD say, drones and kiss cam and all of that. Liquid crystal display. It's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. They had crystals and liquids back then. Yeah, totally that's did. Was probably discovered by the Chinese in the, you know, 1200s or something. That's your turn, Vitericus? That is indeed my turn. Okay, Rexlin. This <sighs> is super epic with uh, Hollow Knight music in the background, just throwing it out there. <laughs> I have Fighting Pit RPG ambient. Mm -hmm. I, th I think what I've, what I've actually got up... Yeah, the sealed vessel. This is the end boss music, uh, so... <laughs> Okay. Oh, except Rexon really doesn't like the Terrigus. Hmm. Aw. 
Oh. Are you kidding? The whole goal is like, we've got a rogue and a bard. Those are the two ones you want to take out first. I Doesn't can't let like them get all established. How genre savvy are these people, though? I mean, these guys have fought in the arena for years. They know what the fuck a bard can do. Okay. That's true. Well, do they get many bards in the arena, though? So, Well, they had Pavat for ages. Well, Rex yeah, but he was... Sorry. <laughs> Rexlin is going to move with almost supernatural speed oh. towards Viterica. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Spending one, <laughs> spending one key point. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. To, oh, shit. To, oh, dash, shit. to dash as a bonus action. Oh, girl, I'm glad I'm not on the end of those quivering fingers, let me tell you. Um, and is going to... Quivering palm, quivering palm. At least he's not drunk. I, I don't know what kind of monkey is. Yep, one-armed strike. Uh, uh, unarmed strike. Uh, does an 18 hit the Tericus? Uh, it would, but I'm going to cast Silvery Barbs, so go ahead and re-roll that and take the lowest result. Okay. I like it. No giant enemy crab syndrome here. Ha! Uh, that's a 22, so... Okay, uh, so the I'll take the 18. Hits. Um, yeah. But I now have advantage on my next attack roll ability check or saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so... You take seven points of bludgeoning damage as Rexon just oh. charges up and, uh, you know, fist, fist into the rib cage. Bonk. <clears throat> and however, he's already spent his bonus action, which is a bit disappointing because most ah, of the best things... No flurry for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, oh well, uh, that is Rexlin's turn. Ooh, oh, I want to know what kind of monkey he is. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I mean, you'll Vitericus, find out. Vitericus, please give me a constitution saving throw. Ah, standard oh, strike. Oh. On. Uh, I have advantage on it because I silvery barbed you. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be an 18. Uh, 18 succeeds. You are not uh, stunned by his stunning strike. Perfect. Oh, well. Uh, that is Rexlin's turn. Dagmar. Uh, Dagmar is going to do something super, super interesting. And she's going to go um, here. And that is her action and her bonus action. Okay. <laughs> uh, she's a little dash. Uh, yeah. You're going Can to you double dash? Back. Can't, you, can't you dash and then bonus action dash? Uh, you should yeah. be. Yeah. Oh, you is can that dash and allowed? Bonus action dash. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you that's should. your. Uh, that's in your second chunk of things you do as the rogue. You can do all the going, nonsense. Um, isn't dash just like the same as your speed again? Because you speed twice, but then you can do your speed twice, twice. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well then, um... I think. D don't quote me on that. I haven't been a rogue for a long time. I think... Well, because you can move and then bonus action dash and then also use your action to dash? Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, right, using yeah. move and action to dash and then bonus action. I'm not action. sure. I feel like you can only dash once, but the advantage mm. of the rogue is that you can use it as your bonus action so yeah. that you can dash and still shoot or attack if you want to. Mm. Okay, dash so you could dash stats. to there, then move and then shoot. If you wanted right. to. Or you can mm. use all the dashes you want. It's up to you. Um, I moved and then I dashed. That's... <laughs> So I that's your of... act, that's your movement and your bonus action. You still have your action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I can move closer. So, yeah, if you or wanted to you use your action it. to also dash, you could do that, or you could shoot. Whatever it is you want. Um, I don't think... Wait, ah. Oh, that is 60 feet, isn't yep, it? Yep, and you do have line of sight. Aha, uh -huh, well, then I'm going to shoot. Okay. Who are you targeting? I am targeting Rexlin. Okay. Great. Attack. Attack! Yay! Okay, that's 28 to attack. 28 hits. <laughs> yes! yes. Now, I Shoot get the sneak attack because he is within five feet of an enemy. Um, I believe. What What is the description? Do they have to be an ally of yours? No, no it's they just, just an enemy. Have to be an just enemy of them. Okay, yeah, cool. So enemy. you do get sneak attack. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, Vitericus is no friend today. Okay, so yeah. that's right. As not... long as they're an enemy to them, it's fine. So 9 plus 25. Oof. Okay. So, first of all, uh, he is going to attempt to catch the arrow. Oof. Fucking monks. 
Ooh, done 34 <laughs> damage. That'd be quite the catch. Um, that'd that'd is... take your fingers off. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm interpreting this as it is the damage from the... Um, sneak attack. That's the big scary one. Yeah, it's not including the sneak attack. He doesn't get to reduce the damage of the sneak attack. It's just from the initial, uh, you know, the mm. 9, not the 25. I don't... No. I mean, it's your game. If you make it's that it. ruling, that's up to you. Yeah. When you are hit by a ranged weapon attack, uh, when you do so, the damage you take from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus 18. And I think that because, you know, it is the sneak attack as opposed to the ranged weapon attack, I think we can, I think I'm going to say that it's only the initial damage that is negated. Yeah, so sneak attack raw, just for clarity, is you deal extra damage to one creature you hit with an attack. So it's not a separate damage roll, it's extra damage on the attack. Mm. Um, mm. But if he's catching the, the arrow, then that probably makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, so, if he catches the arrow. So he, if he catches yeah, the arrow. He negates uh, all of the uh, initial damage. So uh, only, <gasps> only takes a sneak attack damage, um, but doesn't which take is, doesn't take the initial nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. still a lot, yeah. That is and, definitely still numbers. And the arrow, um, you know, he, it, it, it catches it just as it uh, pierces his shoulder. Um, and then pulls it out and with lightning speed throws it back at you, Dagmar. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Bullshit. Love it. Monk's like using it as a fight. Using it as a dart. <laughs> I'm gonna put my bets down that he's an open way of the oh. open hand, Monk. And that's a know. natural twenty, and yes it is. <gasps> Yes, he oh, is. Yeah. Oh, if he's if I assume he's our level. If he's any higher, then we're all gonna die. <laughs> Boy, howdy! And he does a little extra damage because of the nat twenty. Well, yeah, isn't oh, yeah, the uh, so that difficulty it, level of this encounter suicidal? <laughs> so, Dagmar, uh, you take eighteen points of piercing damage from your own oh, arrow. Damn. Eighteen. <laughs> he said, "Call an ambulance," but not for me. Mm -hmm. um, Dagmar already has monk-related trauma from a recent encounter. Oh God! Mm. <laughs> uh oh, favorite it's enemy for you. <laughs> but at least yeah, he's not showing up on your shoes. That's true. true. That guy. That guy peed very close to us. He was nasty. Uh, is there anything else in your turn, Dagmar? No, that's fully it. Okay. Thank oof is a free action. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's definitely uh, oh, the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, no one sees Zuka charging towards him and is going to uh, well, first of all, he is going to rage. <laughs> Sir, I would like to rage. Loves it. Loves it. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. What can I even do? I'm so far away. I'm going to have to do a lot of jogging in my yeah. arm. <laughs> you have to do a lap. And is going to <laughs> literally run towards Zuka. And it's like the start of the Hunger Games where they're all like, mm, no. Yeah. He's <laughs> going to try to strike Zuka with his pole axe, but he's uh, doing a reckless <sighs> attack. Uh, so much so he measuring. Gets advantage. Every time you say Zuka, I hear Salad V going Zanuka, just so you know. I keep thinking of Avatar, even though it's not Zuka. Yeah, That's Zuka. Yeah, Avatar. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm making a Warframe reference, by the way, for anyone who wants Thank to look that one up. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, okay. yeah. A twenty-five. I, I need it. Is... I need it. David would know though. A twenty-five is definitely going to hit <laughs> Zuka for. Bonk. 14 points of slashing damage from the Pollux. Oh. Uh, and because he is raging, he can choose to frenzy when you make a single melee attack as a bonus action uh, after this one. Okay, so that is going to be another attack with the Pollux. 28 <laughs> is going to hit. Oof. I hope so. Heavens. Another 16 points of slashing damage against the Minotaur. Oh, so much math. And... It's like we're playing D&D &D or something. At least we're not in part. Oh. 
Oh, that I is... don't like that AOE. Get rid of that. That is no one's turn. Yeah. Okay, Zuka is uh, doesn't need to do a goring rush because she is standing right next to her target. Your genetic future. Uh, so that is a yep. So uh, Zuka has a great sword. Uh, old-fashioned, double-handed Zweihander, and is going to swing it at no one uh, with a 21, uh, which definitely Ooh. hits no one. Oh, because he's got no armor on, yeah. Those two are having a good... good they're having a good time. They're duking not... it out. Yeah. Reeve was AC 20 with body hair, so... For <laughs> 12 points... Yeah, damage. but if you're wearing if you're wearing a full Wookiee, though. Yeah, it's fair. And oh, I forgot to s something I should have done, but it's too late. I've already said what she did. Uh, uh, I took your hand off the chest piece. That's very oh, honourable. It's a lot. It's a lot to run. It's a lot to run mm -hmm. two characters at once. Yep. God, yeah. Three characters at once. Three characters, yeah. Three characters. And, and two is, of them are fighting each other. And this is fewer than I normally have in you know an encounter. Right. <laughs> Although mm -hmm. they are. They have many more abilities than the average. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, PC mm -hmm. level. Goblin. Uh, so that is Zuka's turn. Paradise, or Astrapian the mm. Splendid. Okay, uh, he is going splendid. to... Uh, I don't think he'd appreciate it. Splendy, for sure. I mean, you only know him as Paradise, so... That's true. One... Two, I feel like Morzod three, definitely said that over four. the loudspeaker. Uh, well, he doesn't know that this guy... Well, actually, he's probably reading the, the thing that has his name on it, so it probably would be, actually. But... Uh, I'll stand there. Um, and he is going to uh, very dramatically bend down and get a little piece of dust off the ground. Is uh, Orsi just losing a... his mind? <laughs> no, I think Orsi doesn't like him because he's pretty as oh, he is. He's too tan. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I doesn't like his men with too many muscles. <laughs> um, and he also takes out a very small vial of water and he throws them up in the air together and makes a very dramatic hand movement and casts Ice Storm uh, over on Rexlin and Viterkus. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's twinkling in the sunlight. It's sparkling. He's having the Elsa moment. Sorry, they are having the Elsa moment. It's beautiful. Um, so that's oh, twenty there foot summer radius. Summer and they're summoning ice. He can also be a winter eladrin when he wants to. Don't okay, pigeonhole them. Like they're a full spectrum oh. person. That's fair. That's maybe fair. the ice is yellow. Don't ask why. <laughs> no one wants a golden ice storm. Jesus. Um. So probably like. Hey, some I'll people are into that. <laughs> uh, so it's got a range of three hundred feet. That should be fine to hit them. Yeah. Um. And. So a hail of rock-hard ice pounds to the ground in a 20-foot radius, 40-foot high cylinder centered on a point. Each creature in a cylinder must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 2d8 bludgeoning and 46 cold damage on failed. The egg Ooh. was that, Slicer. That was sparkly is what that was. That's a nat 20. We're doing a Pokemon beauty contest right now. That's a nat mm -hmm. 20 save from Rexlin. Jeez. Rexlin uh, will take half damage. Mm -hmm. 16 from Viddy. That's not oh, good. they just saved. Yes! Oh, rip! So, oh, half oh, damage, oh, so... All decks, no flex. <laughs> so, so, seven halved, what would that be? Three? Three hey, bludgeoning? We, we love a mm -hmm. dex build. And then, 46 coal. What's 13 halved? What would that be? Six. Seven. Six. 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 Six cold damage. And yeah, the down. ground... And the ground around them is also oh. difficult terrain. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Sounds of fitty discomfort. I love it. Look, man, you forced my hand. I'm going to run over to everybody. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, hailstones turn the storm's area effect into difficult terrain until the end of my next turn. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, that's it. Okay. At the I think end... I haven't used all my movement yet. No, it's fine. Go ahead. At the end of this turn, uh, the ground, uh, parts of the ground, start to glow. Oh no, oh, we got the shrinking arena! <laughs> and... Ugh. I caught up on Kill 6 Billion Demons today, so this is, this is just absolutely... 
because I was up to the arena, so. Oh man, this is so sick. Hey, Foundry, please may I draw something? No! This is hard mode. Some foundry. Foundry I is can very... make everything look like it's on fire. Foundry is very good, but it is playing with me at the moment for some reason. Um, Freehand! Whee! Just oh. hitting F5 to refresh. But it's also not working for me to draw stuff. <laughs> Well, we're not having enchantments, so you can't use your magic art That's powers. Odd. I tested this earlier. The suspense. I tested this Lines. earlier, and it was Lines. working. I just realized you've got a smithers. God, he looks so comfy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can't draw either. Looks weird. All right, let's uh, make this a short break while I work out some technical issues, because it's going to be hard to just describe to you which, you know, which parts of the map are glowing. <laughs> we need... We need the technical it. issues. So we are going patch. to take a short yeah. break while I figure this out, and uh, we'll be back before you know it. Don't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. And we are back. And I have solved the problem. I was trying to draw apparently under the tile that I'd placed on top of everything. Uh, so the map has been fixed up and now at the end of this turn these uh, parts of the arena's soil have started to glow and Ankle Slicer says Word of advice! Stay clear of the glowing zones! What do you think of the fight so far, Morzod? Well, I think I think it's looking awful sparkly with whatever that um, what is his name? Paradise. Whatever he's doing, that's, that's real sparkly. What was that? Did you see what that was? It is Vitericus's turn, and uh, Ankle Slicer says, "Look like ice to me." Ice, real sparkly ice. Yeah, this is fantastic. So, we're gonna tell him what happens in the uh, the glowing bits because I've got the cliff. I've got the um. Summary notes here, but do we do we give it away or we're we gonna leave it as a surprise? Um and by this time you're, you're up uh Morsel's been talking enough that it's up to turn three. Uh so we'll come back <laughs> to Ankle Slice's answer. Um Vitericus. Probably the six second round, right? It's yeah. uh, it's not a lot of conversation time. Alright, Vitericus is going to pull a card out of not his Taroka deck, but just his normal playing card deck. Touch it to his forehead, and a silvery lance is going to fly from his forehead straight into Rexland's forehead. Oof. Um, so can he please make a, let me just quickly check which kind, an intelligence saving throw for me, please. Uh, that is his lowest, but um, he rolls a natural 20. What okay. is this guy? And, uh, what dice are you using for this man? Stop using those dice, yeah. they're too good. Change that, the set. Is that three natties in the one game? He's yep. a... All right. Well, in that case, then, please take half Monks. 28 damage. It's psychic. Okay. So 14 psychic damage. Yep. Done. That's my bonus action. For my action, I'm going to tell Rexel in the tale of the Beguiler. So can he please make a wisdom saving throw for me? I just love the image of, like, him punching you. Mm. The Terracus is trying to just, like, tell him the story. I doubt a 12 will succeed. A 12 will not succeed. Fuck you, Rexlin. Um, <laughs> please take a further... Ah, it's not much. Seven psychic damage, as I tell you a story that you don't want to hear. Uh, Rexlin is also incapacitated until my next turn. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to walk the fuck away from Rexlin. 5, 10, 15. And I'm going to cower behind a wall. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of cowering in front of the wall if we're talking. Ah, uh, I don't care about Rexland anymore. He is he is incapacitated until my next turn. Thoughts. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So that and is my turn. It is Rexland's turn, and Rexland can't do a damn thing. Yes. I've had so many spells to get him there, but he can't move. That's the important part. <laughs> uh, Let's hope the glowing area does some work. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dagmar, it is your turn. <laughs> Dagma is going to... 5, 10... I've got a feeling some real Fall Guys shit is about to happen. Dagma's... Oh, sorry. Going to scamper up this wall, and um, she is the kind of 
athletic that allows her to scale as quickly as she runs. Mm-hmm. So and these... uh, then she's going to shoot fucking Rexlin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Old I believe she hard. has... You help NVIDIA out. She has Wait, advantage because she has the high ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Suck on that, Anakin. Uh, yep. Which means she gets sneaky. Good. Roll, my pretty. Roll. Why aren't you rolling? Come on. Sorry, hold on. Let me restart my app. Rolling deep. Fucking apps. We love them. We hate them. We get comically frustrated at them. Mm hmm. Okay. Short bow. Roll attack. Does 18 hit? 18 hits. Thank God. Does, does sneak attack. Uh... Does sneak attack have to have, like, the caveat of them also being within five feet of someone? No, uh, it's advantage or if they're in, within five feet of an enemy. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, honestly, right. you'd have advantage anyway because he's incapacitated. Also that, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's incapacitated. That works. So, yeah, so it's advantage or um, space between them and someone else. All right, so seven plus... 25. That is numbers. That is, that numbers is such indeed. numbers. You and guys, we take all that. of them. <laughs> Doing take every one of those numbers, you shitty monk. Doesn't like Vatericus. I mean, honestly, I can't see why. <laughs> um, it's not a personal dislike. It's just he doesn't like a bard having that belt. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, I, I enjoy the life mug appearing in screen, as you say, why would someone dislike yeah. Uh Okay. Uh, anything else, Dagmar? Nah, she's just going to chill on this rock. Pretty. Um, She's probably also going to do like a cheer to the crowd, just for funsies, like a raise the <laughs> bow and just like roar. Yeah, a little war cry is a free action. Yep. Yeah, look, she's going to get killed pretty soon once the big boys all converge, so she's going to enjoy this moment while she has it. Uh, kind of enjoying the idea of, like, no one and, and Zuko, like, trying to jump up while you're standing on the top there firing down again. <laughs> so, Your housewife uh, on a chair. It is no one's turn. I mean, I basically beat no one in hand-to-hand -hand combat by just, like, running in circles. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you won once. Why not again? That was brutal. Okay. Definitely. Stabbing. I did. There was much stabbing. I stabbed him so many times. So many times. All right. No one is going to take another swipe at Zuka. Move the points. Yeah. You two just deal with each other real quick. It's very menacing and beautiful over there, this horns and polaxes. Mm -hmm. I hope they Asks. come out of this realizing that they want to go on a date. That's a magic card in my head. So beautiful. <gasps> oh. Goring Minotaur. Oh, what? Yes. What, what did cards. you just do? Cards. Sorry, no, no, carry the on. Cards is the, the cards, the cards, the cards will tell. Indeed. Oh, God. Oh. It's all right. I have other card spell. Oh no! Did I not take that one? Shit! Never mind. What I take? So I don't know if no I'm worried one or not. strikes Zuka for ten points of slashing damage, and is going to use his bonus action. Oh no! He actually. Uh, let me double check. He gets two attacks per action, so he's going to hit Zuka again with a nat twenty. Good grief. What are those dice? That is not too many nat 20s. Back to back nat 20s. That's too many 20s. That's, That's a lot, lot of 20s. 20s. I, want, I want those dice. For another Seriously. 19, I'm doing it against my own character. Another 19 <laughs> points um, slashing damage. And because he is frenzying and raging, he is going to attack again with his bonus action. Get him. Oh. Yeah, him keep no doing one. it. J Show us that hit champion. Her and, and hit her. Mm-hmm. It's another 20. Another <laughs> <What>? natural 20. 
Shut oh, up! Yeah. Stop it! Two I nets! You have rolled no enough Maddie? natural 20s in this gay digital dice that they need to be retired. Please float them, yeah. I think, just sink your computer into some salt water for me. Yeah, that's the rest of your nat 20s for the, our campaign. Now you can never do it against us. And it's Definitely not when you're playing on, a god. 15 points of slashing Whoa. damage and Damn. Zuka is looking bloody. Is that a... Br is that mm -hmm. a brutal crit? Does he get brutal crits on 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 crits? Oh Ooh. shit! He would do. <laughs> it's a barb. What are they? He's a barbarian and he's doing reckless. Does he get brutal Savage crits? Savage attacks. Oh. oh, you can roll one of the weapons damage dice one additional time and add it to the extra damage of the critical hit. I'm sorry. Um, I hope to kill your character. All right. So it's going to be another. Eight points. Oh. And he got two crits then, didn't he? He did. So we'll do that again. Another eight points. <laughs> Yeesh. Does he also crit on 19s as well? No. I don't okay. think so. I don't remember establishing that. All right. Jeez, it's rough up there. That is no yeah. one's turn. No thanks. I don't know. It's very, it's very fur and mess and skin. I don't want to be a part of that. <laughs> Zuka. <laughs> How you doing, Zuka? Hey, get the horns in there, babe. He's not wearing any armor. I'm just staring at their minis on the screen like they're gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so invested. Watching my stories. It. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, we need to have the combat performed by finger puppets. Goring, oh my god, yes. Goring Minotaur is a good card. Oh, oh. I yeah. love Minotaurs. They're just so cool. There's a lot of really good Minotaur art. Zuka in, in Magic. has found herself, not by her choice, toe to toe with her favorite gladiator. Uh -huh. And is unhappy yeah. at oh, the bard who made, him, made her do this. So she yeah. is going to charge. Don't forget April's difficult ground. <laughs> Can just make it to Vitericus. Fuck. Um, doesn't get <laughs> a proper attack, but gets to do a goring rush. Uh, first of all, yeah. Um, no one does get an attack of opportunity. Killer no one. Uh, it's 18, which will yes. hit. You might get down. Ooh, not a good damage roll this time. Only, oh, I think. <sighs> Only seven points. Uh, I'm side eyeing these dice. Zuka is going to Impressive. do a Goring Rush. Uh, 16 hits for Terracus. Silvery Barbs, try again. 14. It's still my AC, so you do still hit. Okay. Which is a shame, that but I have advantage 14? on my next attack roll or save roll. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I am. Uh, I'm wearing effectively a suit. <laughs> that, that is a. Like a little bit of reinforcement, but that's it. It is seven points of piercing damage as one of her <sighs> horns uh, digs into your uh, abdomen as she just <gasps> charges into Oh my into god. You. Oh my, he's got like a collection of different things that have pierced yeah, his abdomen. Yeah, between the lizard bite, like just around inside the lizard jaws, just a minotaur horn straight into the guts. Like, okay. Beautiful, it's work of art. You need to start getting tattoos of all of these terrible things that have no, happened No, because then he'll get, so it, cool. he'll get gored again and then he'll ruin it. Paradise, it is your True. turn. Get a sleeve. Okay, cool. Uh, geez, gosh, I would like to be in the fight. Um, at, this mark, at this point, he's going to need just one of those um, tally marks. One, one two, three, four, two, five. Three. So that was what? Two, five, ten, fifteen feet. And then he is going to, uh, like a magician, like out of nowhere, pull a bird's feather out and let it go in the wind and cast fly on himself. We have an airborne wizard. He's not a wizard. Oh, shit. What is he? He's a He's wearing plate armor. You think he's a wizard? I forgot about the heavy plate armor. Uh, he's going to go, what, 40 feet up in the air? Mm hmm. So you can. And like. Right click. Oh, it's and, trigonometry. You can right click yeah. in your token and then top left. Yeah. Um, with a little oh. circumflex. That's what you put in your height and feet. 
<gasps> oh, sick! And it'll keep track of that. So, that's 60 feet of movement with fly, I believe. So I've used 40 feet of that. So I have 20 of that have left. And then also I still have 15 feet of my movement left. So I'm going to go... Not touching anywhere near this yucky brown donut. Okay. <laughs> to that. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Oh, and the icy terrain is gone too. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Get rid of that. And there we go. At the end of this turn, uh, if that is the end of your turn, yeah. Yep. Uh, all of the soil which is glowing, uh, a uh, mist or steam abruptly puffs out, and everybody standing in that zone who is just Rexlin immediately falls unconscious. Yes! Buddy, 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 buddy. Down goes my monk. Oh. Get out of here, monk. Not actually dead. We don't it's, like your kind. No, it's just the easiest way to take them out of the fight. <laughs> oh, I wanted to fight him. Yeah. Derekus would sigh, but there is a minotaur in his abdomen, and sighing is difficult at this exact moment. Okay, back to the top, Viterekus. Yeah. Um... Oh, oh, sorry. Also, uh, yeah, you can do your turn, but there's a new... Uh, new parts of the arena are about to start glowing, so I'll draw those mm -hmm. in while you think. Uh, I think it's going to be... Ah! Same, I think. I don't think I have any... Oh. This is about to get real messy. Come on, man, I want to get over there. Wow, All that's right. a lot of red. That is a lot of red. That's a lot. Is it going to keep closing in till we're all one one person on the healing? Is this like Basically, yeah. I think so. Battle battle royale, like jeez, okay. Let's like I said, it. some some serious fall guy stuff is about to happen here. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is like the map closing in. In is it Fortnite or the it, other mm -hmm. one? I don't Just know what the kids are playing these days. Yeah. I, all I right. Think... Let's. Sorry, go. No, no, no. I think. We're going to pull out the, 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 not the ace up Vitericus's sleeve, because he actually has aces up his sleeve. Um, <laughs> but we are going to cast Heat Metal uh, <laughs> on Zuka. Fuck. This I told day. you he was going to use Heat Metal. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Look <laughs> at you guys pre gaming. Um, <laughs> when I was talking to David yesterday, I was like, yeah, oh, he's going to Heat Metal. So let's go ahead and do that slightly and higher classic than normal. And she wore plate anyway. Classic. Yes. So let's make it third level. Um, I'm going to heat her plate see. because, of course, I'm going to... Oh, actually, what weapon is she wielding? Uh, great sword as Vihander. I'm going to heat as Vihander. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does have a metal wire grip. So, yes. That will be a problem Perfect. for her. Wouldn't it be uh, hilarious no. if she had metal tipped horns and you heated the horns that would have been and they so good. You? Yeah, that would have really funny. We'd have cauterized the wound and absolutely. Mm. Um, Took some so fire damage. Can you please take 10 fire damage out of heat metal anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and then a oh con my, save my. or drop the object that she's carrying. Which is you? <laughs> Which is the <laughs> sword, but also me. True. <laughs> Uh, 12? 12 is insufficient. She drops the uh, great sword. Yes, so she drops the great sword. Uh, da, 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 but... Okay, cool. Doesn't take any other damage from it. Okay, well, that being the case, I guess I'm going to walk away from her at this point. I, ooh, no, that was my action, so I guess I have to move, and then I've got a bonus action left. So, um... These people are all moving so incredibly fast. So let's go. 5, 10, uh, 15, 20. Okay. Uh, so attack of opportunity if you'd like. Yep. I do like. Yeah, I thought you might. Did, 
Has she already used a reaction because of Silvery Bobs? Is that it? No. No, that was no, the previous not this turn. turn. No. Oh, um, that's previous turn. So that's going to be a 27 to hit. That'll hit. That'll hit. Sadly, it's only with her fist for six points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Still too much. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead gotcha. and while I'm uh, taking a quick breather on the other side of the wall from the giant minotaur, <laughs> uh, I'm going to pull out a card from my deck. And we'll see which card I get. It's an eight. I will check that shortly. But that is my turn. Okay. Um... Rexalyn is out. It is Dagmar's turn. Dagmar is going to Oh, bounce. actually, sorry. She takes an extra d6 damage from heat metal because I was casting it through my deck. So okay. An extra five. Nice. Apologies. She is still standing. Um, Damn it. Mighty pretty deck you've got there. Mm-hmm. Um, Dagmar's going to bounce down over here and take a shot at um, Zuka. Okay. Hi. 23 to hit? That hits. Nice. Um, it's just a normal normal damage on this one, I believe. Yep. And no sneak attack this time. Yeah, she takes nine. Nine points. She is still standing. Damn it. She's and tough. then Dagmar is going to use her bonus action to go in this little... Does that count as being in the red? You are safe there. Okay, yeah. Dags is going to hide in that little nook. Okay. And uh, that's my turn. Get out of there, no one! Yep, it is no one's turn. Okay. Let's check. What can he do? Okay, no one is starting to guess where this... Um, you know, what the pattern is to this... Uh, mist that is coming in, so he is going to... How far can he get? Okay. No one is going to... move here. Uh, well, run and try to make a running jump to avoid as much of this whatever it is as possible, so there's going to be... I'll make that a athletics check from him and it's oh would not be good but uh, he's got a big bonus to that uh, so he is going to land and his feet go splush in this uh april uh to uh you know to paradise it looks like greece oh um absolutely not touching that and let's see, he does manage to maintain his standing. He does not slip and fall. Um, what's, what's his strength modifier? Oh, it's, uh, don't wait, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm just going to see how far he could jump. I'm just going to see how far he could jump. It's good. Okay. And let's see. DM me. <laughs> Who is he going to attack with his javelin? I think he's going Only to... Only the one who's taken no damage. I think he's going to throw it at... Now, I'm going to roll to see which of you... Oh, the dice hate me. It's going at Paradise. Oh. Okay. I've got javelins too. <laughs> I think a 19 will hit. No, it won't. No. Yeah. It won't? Okay. No. Blade armor. And a shield. And a shield. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, yeah, you, you managed to deflect the javelin with your shield. As it comes towards you and well he's got three javelins and three attacks so two more i mean you could always try to hit someone like way easier to hit than me but go for it true so a 26 will hit you yeah he mad he mad though Four. he is a barbarian um let me just check my it will hit me though go ahead okay for 11 points let me just double check my wards um, I believe I have resistance to... Oh, sorry, no, that's magic. Never mind, yeah, I take cool. that 11 points. 11 points of piercing damage. Now, uh, are you concentrating on the fly? Oh, shit, <laughs> I was. <laughs> okay, um, for, uh, Shut so... Shut down. Please roll a concentration check. Oh, 22. No problem. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> 
Okay. And for his third javelin, uh, third and final javelin, because he only has the three, uh, that is going towards Vitericus, because why not? How far away are we? Good question. 50 feet. Ooh. Oh, too many wards. No, it's going to be... Oh. I should have rolled with disadvantage, because you're 40 feet in the air, and javelins only have an accurate range of 30 feet. So... Oh, okay. Also, I get plus three to all saving throws, so that would have been 22, 23, 20, 25 for my con save. Okay, so. please undo the damage that okay. I did to you earlier. He missed with both javelins and uh, is frustrated and is therefore going to try and strike Vitericus instead, thinking he, because he's got disadvantage on these throws anyway, he might as well go for the easier mm -hmm. target. Uh, so... <laughs> A 12 isn't going to hit Vitericus. Not even me, yes. Yeah. Uh, so that is the end of no one's turn. Zuka. Love you, babe. Okay. Zuka. Honestly, if I was closer, I'd probably 15, heal her. 15, 20, mm? 25. No problem. Oh, how long does heat metal last? Till I drop concentration. Okay, uh, so she hasn't picked up her great sword. It's not so great at the moment. Is basically just going to try to pummel you. Please um, don't. <laughs> she jump up on that wall. That's cool. Yep, she climbed the wall and is actually going to. Oh gosh, she's going to jump on him from the ropes. Straight up, try to belly flop down onto Vitericus. <laughs> So I'm going to call, I'm going to call this a a, a uh, ranged attack. Mm -hmm. I think you should roll on the reckless m maneuver table. Twenty five. Okay. Silvery barbs. <laughs> Reroll that, please. <laughs> Just the way he said that. Silvery barbs. It's in that oh, one. No. It's in that, that one. one. Uh, she so misses. I, I Lucky. whistle at the most inopportune moment, uh, and she falls flat. Yep, she right misses Lucky. and has Pancake. and is now prone on the mm -hmm. ground. Oh, her horns got stuck in the ground. Hilarious. Um, <laughs> See, you rolled all those twenties. Now you're rolling the ones. Uh, she has Bounce. not yet used a bonus action, so she is going to use that to a uh, second wind. An excellent choice. She's a fighter, isn't she? Yeah. Is she a fighter? Yeah. So she. Oh, I thought she was a barbarian. 21 points of health. Mm. Oh, Good for you, babe. She would have fainted anyway. All of these abilities that I don't understand because I've never played a fighter before. Fighters Drop have off. so much once yeah. you hit XYZ mm -hmm. level. It's like pages of maneuvers. Like, at low levels, they kind of feel like, you know, baby's first hero because they are, you, you just walk up and hit them. But Literally. at higher levels, yeah. you know, they get so many You have so like many seven options. maneuvers, yeah. yeah. At level 13, it's a lot. It's a lot to keep track of. Okay, that Paradise. Like Pathfinder, I don't want to do that. Paradise. Estate. Oops. Excuse me. There we go. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. 50, 55, 60? <laughs> Sorry. I like this direction. Jesus. Um, he's going to stay up there. La, 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 la. Can I see Dagmar trigonometry? Uh, no, you do not have line of sight on Dagmar. Okay. Even there. though I'm 40 feet up in the air? Uh, no, the, uh, that obstacle is it, 10 feet tall. She's fucking and, hugging and, that wall. Yeah. Oh, you she, know, she's little too. She's okay, so that's right. at, it, at its base. <laughs> Um, no, she's she's cowering coolly. Um, all right, face. then javelin at Zuko, please. Oh, okay. Well, she's close to it, so you know, is, is she it, still prone? Vitericus is right there. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, she is, is still she... prone. Oh, uh, that would impose disadvantage on me, though, wouldn't it? Disadvantage on a ranged attack, yes. Never mind, Vitericus. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some PvP. <laughs> Uh, like sorry, I'm such a wizard. I have my spell page open all the time. There we go, javelin. All right. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Twenty-five. 
Yep. Roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a lot. It's just a javelin. Seven. I Seven have a bard, so. <laughs> yep. And then I'll do it again. Please don't. <laughs> eh. oh, Yell yelling, away. oh, come on, is also a free action. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I clicked off my d, &D Beyond page. I'm sorry. Good. Forfeit the rest of your attacks. Move on. <laughs> Took a hand off Dagmar the is shouting, don't kill my bard from behind the rock. <laughs> oh, that was nearly an at 20. It's a 2 for a 10. That misses. Ah, oh, that misses. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and that's all the attacks I get because I'm not a fighter. Okay, yes. So straight okay. to the back of the shoulder and then, like, I spin around and dodge the next one. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ow. Um, I think... Ooh. Sorry. That's okay. The Still fate, learning this character. The fate of the belt is in question. Yeah, um, I will... Oh, how far away? Okay, cool. Um, I will Misty Step. What the f***? I thought this guy was a paladin! <laughs> I am, but I'm also an elf. Oh, I'm right. a wizard. I'm just a very magical fucking fighter. Sorry, I'm trying to not measure things. That's what paladins are, go. basically. Magical fighters. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I keep clicking the wrong button. There I go. Okay, and because I'm an Eladrin, when I use my face step and I appear next to people, things happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course they do. Like Sorry, just getting increasingly in Increasingly uncomfortable grunts that Doug is making. <laughs> um, so I am Summer. So every creature of a uh, creature of my choice within five feet of me takes fire damage equal to my charisma modifier. Jesus. Uh, my charisma modifier is plus three, so three fire damage to Vitericus as he like appears in a flurry of golden birds. And not Zuka? I don't know. You were closer to me, so yeah. But Zuka's within five feet too, isn't it? Any? Yeah. Yeah, but it's you. <laughs> Fine. Is it more like all than any? I'm pretty sure it's just one creature. Oh, yeah, so I can't it. do both of you, sadly. Oh, it's really? each creature of my choice. Yeah, Never mind, I can't do I both of them. Yeah, yeah both of you I was take like, five, what the three points of fire damage. Three points of fire okay, damage. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and he's Never heard say... you make that many noises before. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just going to appear in the golden puff of birds and just say, hello, beautiful. <laughs> and that's it. And at the end of the turn... <clears throat> More mist, more of this mist erupts into the air, uh, but no one is affected, though it comes very close to Dagmar. What's uh, up? And uh, more glowing patterns Shit. appear. <laughs> uh, just give me a moment to draw Are we going to go out. for diagonals uh -oh. now? How's he going to do it? Oh! Yeah. And... Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like uh, the way his cursor is moving. <laughs> right. I just got over here. And angle. Stop it. Oh, and there you go. Shit. And oh. uh, ankle slicer. Shit. <laughs> says, uh, <clears throat> well, it looks like it's a rush for the hill. Uh, and turns to Morzel and says, I think we know what the glowing stuff does now. I think we do. Gee, that escalated quickly. And Ankle Slicer says, uh, and uh, of course, we'd all like to again thank the Coruscant Academy for uh, sponsoring us by adding, uh, by uh, enchanting the floor of the arena for this match. And... Send your children to the Coruscant Academy. Yeah, Academy is mm -hmm. for dinner. It is Vitericus's <laughs> turn. Yeah, I, is it everyone's is. turn? Just flee? I would love it if you did that. I'm not a sentinel fighter. I'm not a fighter, so don't worry. Ralithim Psychic Lance uh, into Paradise. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. So please I can go struggle. ahead. <laughs> and um, make me... but dungeon master, I have a question. Yes. 
So because of my ward, I take half damage from spells. Count? Yeah. Oh, from Psyche Lance is a spell. Sick. Okay, cool. Indeed. So please go ahead and make me an intelligence saving throw. And my intelligence is not great, but I get plus three to all my saving throws. I rolled a seven plus three plus another three, so 13, which is not enough because your save is 17. 17, indeed. So please yeah. take half of 7d6, so half of 27, which will make it 13 damage. 13. And you're incapacitated until my next turn. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you fuck. You shouldn't have landed. The good thing you weren't. <laughs> you should not have landed. <laughs> the good thing you weren't flying. Uh, true. Uh, I am then going to touch the card that I pulled out when I ducked behind the wall just then and turn invisible mm -hmm. until my next turn. <laughs> and then I'm going to run off into the grease because <laughs> I don't have much choice. Won't we see you if you get covered in grease? <sighs> You'll still have disadvantage on the attack roll, so that's the important part. Oh man, is this going to end in Turkish wrestling? It may go a little so. Turkish I wrestling. hope so. I, I mean, I'm going to no. end up dying oh. in this poison s spray, Damn. so... Definitely. Uh, is it, is Greece Turkish difficult wrestling. terrain? Greece is difficult Surely. terrain. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So I get about there. It's very beautiful in the summer, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! That, but I just, I've been. That was actually have... very good. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway. Uh, Dagmar. Yes. Um, Dagmar is going to basically scale hop this rock again, bounce over to the other side. That's her within her normal move. She's going to try and use her action to jump the grease, much as no one did. Okay. Um, how, how, I, is that athletics or strength or? Uh, yep. Yeah, so you can, uh, jump up to, uh, because your strength is 12, you can jump up to 12 feet without having to make a check. So that's 10 feet, two squares, you can jump. I really enjoy the mental image of a dwarf just fucking hmm. power jumping. Clearing but if the... you want to try and jump <laughs> yes. further than that, that will require an athletics check. Not acrobatics? Nope. Okay, well, I'm going to try and Why jump I didn't further try. than that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of just ran into it. Why didn't you jump? Because I have okay. an athletics of plus one. That's 14, but I'm proficient in athletics, in so 16. Uh, 16? How far are you trying to jump? To the other side. Ooh, to the other side. Uh, well, in that case, 16 is not enough. Where do and I land? I'm going to go splat onto the uh, middle thing. And I'll now need... Uh, so you, I'll place you where you land there. Uh -huh. And I'll uh -huh. need... An acrobatics check from you. Whew. That is a 33. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. Well. So you don't clear the grease, but you don't slip and fall when you land in it. Nice. So <laughs> you hit it and goes, wee. <laughs> not a bad outcome. Uh, do I kind of surf to the yes, shore? Yes, on your ass. Uh, what do you uh, do now? Um, I'm going to use my bonus action to just be here. Okay. Uh, uh, e, e, mm, uh, mm. Gonna go. Up. You're not gonna shoot or anything with a bonus action? I have no idea. I'm not a rogue. Um, I can't use my bonus. Oh wait, no, you're yeah, right. Yeah, you can't bonus attack. Can you? Um, She's a rogue. She can I was him. thinking of yeah. I was oh, thinking of bonus. No, I God can't bonus she attack. Bonus. I can only bonus. Oh, move. That's it. it disengage. Dash. So I'm just gonna bonus that's up it. onto the plinth. I was thinking of when you have two daggers and then you dip. Yeah. Right. No. Okay. My bad. So I'm there. Aww. I'm uh, I'm back on the tall thing. I've had a very I'm so bounce sad. Move. I didn't get to smite any of you. I'm gonna oh, die. Oh, oh. <sighs> it is uh, no one's turn. No one is going to run in, scale the hill, so it's uh, 20 points of movement used, 25, 30. Nice. So you've just Three hold yourself up on, on the yeah, You've hold yourself up on there and suddenly no one is there too. That's fine. What's his, what's his real name again? Uh, Who, me? 
Oh, no one. I can't remember. No I don't, one. No one. Don't have no it one. On, I, in I the notes in front of me at the moment. Dagmar Sargash. is brightly going to Sagash. Uh, Dag, as he approaches, looking like an unholy terror, Dagmar will be like, oh, "Hi, Sagash." Okay. Oh, an eleven. Preparing to... herself to be fully stabbed. An eleven to hit will not hit. It will not. I mean, didn't he take a bit of damage from um, okay. Zuko? All right, she'll say hi, Sargash, as she dodges uh, <laughs> his terrible hit. It gets a second attack, uh, which is a 22 to hit. That hits. Uh, so that is 17 points of slashing damage from the Pollux. Oof. <clears throat> and he gets another attack because he is frenzying. Oof, that's only a 12. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of lacking thematically the pattern he's having of just losing his shit but then missing a whole lot. Mm. I mean, that it's makes sense raging. with a yeah. it, absolutely, mm -hmm. it absolutely does. Blood hack, in his hack. eyes or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait. Um, Most of oh, it oh, shouting. Oh. Yeah. He should have had advantage on his first attack against mm -hmm. Dagmar. Because so oh, he's reckless? Swing and reckless. Yeah. 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 Well then. It's a nat 20. Yes! Ah! No! Stop it! <laughs> wow, those dice, though! On fire tonight! I think they should be declared illegal. Not great rolls, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm in the box, just saying. <laughs> 12 points. Uh, yeah, so it's I... another 12 points of slashing damage. Oh, I can take 60 more rat bites. <laughs> I love that we're measuring that in rat bites. That's like the only <laughs> measurement that I like better is smoots. Rat bites or like a kick from a peasant? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> bit, no, I was going to say Evatericus Punch, but that's not true. Evatericus Punch is zero damage, so. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay. Zuka. And Dagma punches at least two. Zuka is going to grab Paradise. Oh, shit. Pick them up and say, You're not going down like this. Oh. And just throw you into the grace. Yeesh! Um, so you, get that? you yeeted the beautiful man into a pit of grease. Grease. Oh. I said I was going to heal her. I'm going to heal her when I wake up. I love her. Um, can Zuka get there with half movement? Why being it? prone? Ah, because Zuka was check. prone. So five, ten, and then she did another ten to get into the grease. Yeah. So ten, fifteen, twenty. Why am I still doing that. 30. Can just get in. Yeah. Oh, what a fucking no, wait, icon. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Mm. <gasps> 15 to stand up. Mm -hmm. 20. Half movement 10. to stand. 25. And you need another 10 to get in to the grease, right? I will do... Um... Damn it, I thought I had them both. Ah. I'll do a roll. Athletics and... Uh, for transparency, I'm setting the DC at 20. So she needs to roll a 20 Zuka. or higher to make it out of the mist. She, no, only, only, gets, she only gets a 14. <gasps> no, I have to... I'm going to kill the terrorists. You, you have to avenge her. <laughs> Why? What did I do to you? So Zuka's last action in this fight a is, to keep, uh, is to keep... Is to keep... The Aladrin in the fight, um, but she sacrifices herself. Um, oh. Oh. Mind you, she was never going uh, with that role. She was, she wasn't going to make it through this next round anyway. So uh, that is her turn. Um, Paradise, uh, you are incapacitated, but no longer. Yeah. So you, at the very least, get your reaction back from now on. Oh. And at the end of the oh, turn, the mist Zika. rises. And Zuka slumps to the ground, unconscious. Ah. And All right, an icon. I love her. She's my favorite. <laughs> you will be avenged. <laughs> I fucking kill Patericus. Then now the fight ends and she's just sitting on the side eating sandwiches. And yeah, she's just eating a carrot. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> what? Yep. As uh, this faint glow starts to appear through the pool of grease. 
This is a very stressful map. And uh, Patericus, it is your turn. We, we, should well, we imagine it with the Sonic is drowning jingle? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm I'm prone, right? So. Oh yeah, because you would have been hucked. Yeah, face yeah. down mm. in the face down in the grease. Bum you in the air. Cut currently drowning. And I'm also in incapacitated until the end of your turn, right? So. Oh god! So you're oh, that's sinking. Right. Let yes. Me, let me quickly check. <laughs> yeah, the, How deep is this? The shit? grease is only a few inches deep. Hey, okay. I no, figured I wouldn't be drowning. Yeah. So you could Start drown someone if you push their face into it. In the kiddie pool. Yeah. You can well, see, this is this is the thing. A child can drown in even a couple of centimeters of water, and we're talking a couple of centimeters of grease, and you're incapacitated. He's a very, very large, broad-chested <laughs> allergen. I'm sure he's fine. Oh, right. So his titties are saving him. I gotcha. Oh, 100% <laughs> out of the water. He's, he's much yeah. bigger than Orson. Face is entirely clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's legalizing out of that grease. He's, he's, no, no, no. He's this far from he's the grease bath. because he's he's got it's that. Uh, he's the bath. meme. The meme of the girl looking at the guy's boobs and yeah, so they're he's, massive, massive. Yeah. <laughs> In armor. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. Well, actually, has he got boob plate on? They should should have boob yeah. plate on. Yeah. I would think. I don't have <laughs> prestidigitation. I'm not a fucking wizard. I hate this. I hate not being a wizard. <laughs> Right. You're like well, the closest yes. thing to a wizard. <laughs> You're pretty wizardy for a paladin right now. I'm low I am spells. going to have to do it again. I'm going to pull a psychic lance out of my card deck and hit you with it. Come on, man! Yeah. Intelligent saving throw, please. Come on, he only tried to kill you a little bit. Is this a disadvantage? <laughs> no, it's an intelligence saving throw. No, would it be a disadvantage? Yeah, no, I don't think so. There's no reason I can think no. of why it would have disadvantage. You lying down. Oh, 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 fuck, oh, fuck you. 22, 23, yeah. 24, 25. So in incapacitated right. oh. doesn't mean, um, you know, you're not blacked out, I think. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and take but I also half take, of, yeah, half. Yeah, half of, half of 29, which is, or half of half of 29, because you passed the test. Um, so what's that? That's going to be seven. That's, that's too much math for me to comprehend. Seven, seven. psychic damage. Alrighty. Yeah, you're taking psychic damage trying to do the math. <laughs> I'm uh, physically and... taking psychic damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack the player directly. Have to move away from you. It's okay, I can't, I can't get you. When, um... when I was um, uh, preparing notes for this, because I didn't have a name for April's character yet, uh, the, yeah. the list of participants was you know, no one, Rexlin, uh, Dagmar, Vitericus, April. <laughs> <laughs> Me personally is in this fight yeah. now. Uh, and then I guess I'm gonna healing word myself. Give myself a bit of a pep talk. Come on, man. You can do it. Can do, it. <laughs> do it for the belt, Fiddy. Right. Uh, so that is... It points. would be cute if he got to keep the belt, though. <laughs> hmm. uh, healing for 23 points of damage. I will take it. I mean, I feel like in some ways this entire episode is happening because David would like very much for him to fucking lose the belt. <laughs> Trying to get rid of the belt. Would I do that? I noticed yeah, that there's no, there's no debate mm -hmm. <laughs> leg of this <laughs> competition. Dungeon Master, I have a question really yeah. quickly. Sorry, how tall is that middle tower again? Ten feet. Ten feet. Okay, it's not really a tower, is it? It's a rock. I just thought I could dramatically spar to kick someone off it into the grease and it would be okay. funny. But, but it is Dagmar's I mean, you turn. could, though. You could. I could. Oh, hi. Um, Dagmar is going to pull out her daggers and uh, remind no one of how he died the first time. So she is going to try and sink one into his belly. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's only a 14. <laughs> uh, 14 misses. Hits him in the gut plate. He He's a barbarian. Yeah, he's oh no, one. it's a natty one for the other one. That's oh, another miss. Dear. Well then, um, she's gonna move <laughs> here. Bonk. This is awkward. <laughs> she's just gonna spin around him while she does that and um, try and make it look like a athletic flare more than a fail. Hell okay. yeah, people clap, that's cool. Meant to do that. Yeah, uh, while so staying within his realm so that no opportunities for attack. So, no one... Uh, yeah, is that the rest of your turn? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And no one is going to uh, attack Dagmar. 
uh, with the pole axe. Oh wait, I need to remember that I've got evade or dodge or some mm -hmm. fucking shit. Yeah. Uncanny dodge, yeah. Um, I'm going to remember to use that this time. Uh, go ahead. Well, that's a 26 to hit. Cool. Yep. For 13 points of slashing damage. Oof. Can I use my reaction to halve that? You can. If I may. So, so take that is down that to six or seven? Uh, six. Six, cool. Second action Go again. To attack. Uh, does a 14 hit? It does not. Okay. Um, but because uh, he has hit once, he can use his frenzy to attack another time. For another 14. There. Big off. Well then. It's like he's trying to kill you or something. Oh, he should, yeah. should have rolled that first one with, oh, advantage. with advantage. I keep forgetting yeah. that. Only that first attack... It's a natural 20. Again, so yeah. many crits. Oh, that is enough. like, is anyone keeping count? This is like a nat 20 counter on this episode. It must be up to like eight. I, I mean, think, that's I a think, lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I absolutely need to render a little thing in the corner that goes ping each time you get a nat 20 this episode. <laughs> okay, so I've got to add up a few dice for this because he also gets the extra from Savage Attacks. <laughs> they so gotta leave that... me alone here. They're gonna kill that... me. <laughs> That's the role for oh, which I halved his attack, though, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. So, yes, um, you will halve so... the damage, I guess, right? No, this is the one that missed. Oh. Uh, um, yes. However, this would have come before that, so I will allow you to halve this instead of the one that came right. after. So, so first I'll of add all, a, add another six. Uh, seven. Seven. So it was 13. Yeah. Damage, all right. And so with this attack, uh, you would take... 21 points, but you can halve that to 10. Thank you. Dagmar is looking rough as fuck. <laughs> and that is no... This is the roughest you have ever seen her. <laughs> that is no one's turn. Um, and, and he finishes... Except for that time Engadon uh, killed her, nearly. Basically. And he, and he finishes... It's like it's my turn. Mm, yeah, hate that. <laughs> Uh, Zuka is out. Paradise. You best run, lad. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's gonna stand up. Uh, for one. And cast Fly on himself. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bip. Don't love using that. And then... Oh, I have a question really quick, too. Yeah. With the poison misty stuff, is it, like, all the way up into the air? Or yes. is it just on the ground? Yes, you cannot fly over it. Doom backside <laughs> alpha card. Just double checking. Five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. It's okay because you're 20. all infinitely tall as well. I do have a question. April. How many misty steps yeah, do you 30. get? All of them. Uh, I have one inherently as an elf, and also because of my paladin, I have one as well. Okay. So I still have one left. Yeah. I lost count of how many feet that I'd used. Thirty-five. Uh, Thirty. I have and... sixty. It's fine. Well, but you use half your movement to stand up, right? That's true, so I should only have 30 flying speed. Okay. Wait, it's only half my walking speed, though, not half my flying speed? Isn't it just half your movement, full stop? Half no your idea. walking speed to stand up. Half my walking speed, so it would have been 15 half. feet. Okay, yeah. so I can get here just fine. Ah. Um, yeah, I don't really want to stand where Pterichus is standing, because that's going to turn red. Very shortly, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I will be here. Yeah. What's up? Red with blood. Hate this. It's everywhere. Um, so he's basically <laughs> on the ground. Uh, and he is going to... And we'll say for the sake uh, of the audience uh, that the mist uh, can be seen through from the stalls. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it would not oh, be cool, much cool, of cool. a match to watch. <laughs> it's like just atmospheric. Mm -hmm. And it's we are going to... It's war. Yes. We're going to go for... Hmm, Dagmar or... No one. No one's a more impressive target. He is. There is more glory in striking no one at this point. Yeah, at this That's point you true. could just bully a very bloody dwarf. But then he also doesn't want to get shivved by a rogue. Ah, <laughs> uh, he'll go for no one, just because he's bigger. Okay. Uh, Warhammer. 18. Hits. Okay. Oh man, and he just said, looks like it's my turn, and now he's getting bonced. 
Yeah, that's uh, what we nine... call poetic. That is very points of, poetic. Nine points of damage. Okay. And I would like to use a divine smite. Wait, can I do that? I've already used an action. Wait, is divine smite tacked on top? Isn't it a bonus? When it's you, a bonus, you yeah. Can do yeah. It. yeah. Yeah, when you do a melee attack, you can expend one spell slot to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage oh. plus 1d8 for each spell level higher than first. So he I'll takes, do it at second level. He takes only half of the bludgeoning damage from the war hammer. Okay, he's because, resistant. Oh, because he's yep. raging. Yep. 2d8. Yeah, so if I do it at second level, I'll oh, do 3d8, 3d8 extra radiant damage. Okay. Oh, garbage. Seven points of radiant damage. Okay, he is not resistant to that, so he does at least take all of it. Uh, what does a okay. um, what does Paradise's smite look like? Um, it's very beautiful birds. when it hits. It's like a golden spray of birds. Yes. Oh. <laughs> does it does it scram? No, oh. it's just for show. Oh, actually, I think and I that... think I think it should sound like a um, uh, like a uh, you know the classic red tar red tailed kite scream as, as the hammer scream. comes down. Oh. I guess it's, a, yeah, sure. As it comes I mean, down. I was imagining a flock of lorikeets or um, silver crested cockatoos. It's like a cockatoo explosion, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he'd like that because he'd be the one who would have to hear it every single time. That's true. That's true. That's a that's a curse. Here, having that's like a, a that's, silver that's a lot. Can we make that a magic item? Like you get a divine smite, but it sounds like a field full of silver crested cockatoos every time. Mozart's the only paladin in the crew, so Yo. Uh and that's his that's him. That's him. That's done. Okay. So at the end of the turn, I think you all know what's about to happen. Oh, mm -hmm. oh Vinny. I was I was this close to using my shield bash to bash Vatericus into the red. <laughs> I want everyone to get up here and have a fight, damn it. My this... god. <laughs> Yeah, that's um. <laughs> You're very, very I small. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have used my ice storm. Big dudes climbing onto this rock with you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'd like oh, to babe, think that up here. pretty much everything Zindi is saying is Morzod yeah. speaking and yeah. is echoing Morzod across commentary. the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Is Morzod and... like at any point breaking like <laughs> impassivity or whatever, or partiality, and just being like, tags, Vinny! <laughs> like, there's a little Morzod in my head, and a couple of times I have, have almost gone, come on, tags! But of course, she's <laughs> Ildi at the moment, and so he probably almost come on, tags. Although, oh, actually, Dags has stopped going by Brunhilde out of the ring, yeah, so he, yeah. he can go back to calling Dags. Did I use my bonus action? Did I do that? Did you do that? Didn't he uh, use bonus action? Smart. Yes. Smart. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Mm. I yep. thought so. Uh, and, yeah, the crowd are loving uh, the action. Uh, they're roaring. They're cheering. Um, they are laughing at Morzod's commentary. They're having a great time. <laughs> uh, Vitericus, it is your turn. Yes. Uh, so I guess I'll hold up to here. Um... <laughs> Bruised and bloodied, Vitericus <laughs> pulls himself. I want Vitericus to win just because he's been through so much. Much Dag less threatening than the other two, but. <laughs> Dagmar is going to give Vitericus a mutually bloodied nod of. Hi. Hey. Rip us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she would really like to have a just a bloody slap fest at the end. Mm -hmm. Paradise, how many rat bites do you reckon you could take at this point? A lot. That's a shame. Callie. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger rat. Um, no I have one... an ADC of 21. For the record, no one's looking pretty healthy at the moment. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's all a bit damaged at this all right. point. Hey, if you Made kill a barbarian, up. you can team up on me, so... Heat metal on Paradise's plate. Oh. I knew he was going to do it. I told you yesterday. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have plant-based plate? Yeah, you should have formed I mean, a new material. I'm I'm Oath of the Ancients. Come like, up to I this in, like, that. wooden armor. But right, technically, you know, you're Oath of the Ancients. Oh, technically, I'm Oath of the Air. Yeah, it's you're right. It's homebrewed um, because yes, it is. she's a follower of Nessed Clayfee. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. 
That explains um, do I save save I was that. gonna say that's what I was assuming because it's boats. No, it's, it's a birds. save to drop the object, but you can't drop the object without taking like ten no. minutes to disrobe. No, so you just take damage. My thinking there okay. is that uh, you can heat the cod piece only. You, I don't think you should be able to you know heat the entire suit of armor because that's full fair. plate is actually made of a great many different yes, items. That's true. I'm assuming you're going for the rest plate. Go uh, for the cod actually, piece. Actually, choose a manufactured my, metal object, my like a metal weapon, or a suit of heavy or medium metal armor that you can see within range. I don't like that rule, but okay. <laughs> hey, you're silly. the dungeon master. If you want it's to change true. it, you, you can. You can absolutely change it if you want. Um, I will say... I say, in defense has to of be myself. a piece of Odd the armor. piece. And, uh, no, a... not his dick or his tits. Don't do that. Um... And Unleash the boobies. You can... Rotaricus is very damaged right now. He cannot be blamed for any action he takes. So you can <laughs> use your action to pull it off, or you can take the damage. If you pull it off, your armor class will go down, but it won't go down as if you'd taken the entire suit off. It'll just be a small penalty. How much would it go down if I just was fighting with my boobs out? I mean, if we're talking titty armor, that probably would give you an advantage. Distraction. Well, I mean, we're, we're, like, compare um, with the chainmail bikini. Yeah, I might be wearing one underneath. I don't know. It's true, exactly. you might be. Um, Red Sonia. Hmm. Well, I'm imagining I guess that with that face that you drew. That, and, let's let's make it the breastplate because the breastplate is the obvious option, mm. and that's what Vitarius is gonna probably going to go for at this point. The card place would be that's hilarious, insane. though. You can, yeah, especially if he pulled it off. You can take <laughs> you can take the piece off for, uh, and it'll. Uh, uh, reduce your armor class by two, um, or you can just wear, okay. wear the damage. It's gonna melt Man, his boobs. How much damage does it do again? I don't even remember. Uh, seven d six per turn, because I'm casting it at a high level. Damn, I might take the armor off. D six. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, are, you, are you guard at the moment? Because so damn. that is. 31, which I guess is halved because you've got wards up and stuff. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it's a spell, yeah, so I take half damage. So that is... Wait, 15. do I take any... Because I'm taking it off, does that mean I take any damage at all? Do I just I think still you, take you it? always take damage at least yeah. once, and then I think on, I'm your it turn, your nips and on your turn you're taking it off? Is that the, yeah. is that the go, David? Yeah. No, 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 I'm leaving it on, I'm leaving it on, I'm leaving it on. When it's your turn, it's up to you what you do with it. So we'll see how much... So what's half 31, sorry? 15. 15. 15, thank you. Oh, not 115. I mean... <laughs> Take 115 oh. if you want. Uh, Videricus, yeah. anything mm -hmm. else in your turn? Uh, I'm going to pick a card out of my Taraka deck, and okay. that's the end of my turn. Dagmar. All right, we're going to try and stab no one in the kidneys again. Okay, kidney strike. Poor no kidney. one's kidney. First one. Why interrupt? Dagmar. Natural no twenty. Let's go. Right. That's it. I there get it is. Sneak as well. So yes. <laughs> finally, okay. So first we take ten, and yep. then Murder we plus. Here. I want. To, I wish I could hear the sound of you rolling That's all those d sixes. Thirty. I know. I wish it was. That's thirty-three total damage for no one on my first strike. Sneak attack doesn't double on a crit, does it? No. No. That's a shame. Does she get because he attacked relentless? Does she get advantage? Oh, but she's already doing sneak attack. Does she get advantage on the second attack then? Yeah. No, you only no. get sneak attack once. But thank but... you. He should actually be. No, not sneak because. But advantage on the attack roll because oh, cool. yeah. he's attacking recklessly. He should actually only yeah. be taking half of this. <gasps> uh, oh, because yeah, so he's, he's resistant. resistant. He's... And yeah. so you don't have harsh. Ah. So much, so much to handle with barbarians. Heavens, I hate barbarians. We're both like attacking the wrong person, by the way. <laughs> kind of. No, no, you're not. You should be hitting paradise, and I should be just like shredding no one's brains. Oh, I have been doing. Do we want to do a, I, I, a moment of eye contact where we're like? That's up to you in game. Oh, Don't you know, action, the game. Action movie eye contact, and mm -hmm, I mean mm -hmm, that would mm -hmm. be pretty hot. Uh, <laughs> Dagma, you've still got your bonus action. He's going to twirl around and try and stick it in paradise. Okay. Did he see his newfound boob window? <laughs> and no, boob he's window. taking he's it off. taking it off. I know. He's not taking it off. She's wow. searching for a chink in his armor. So now it's... I'm trying to do math in my head and you're trying to hit me. Come on, man. 
It smells like toasty nipples out, out here. Um, which isn't going to hit. It's a 16. No, it doesn't hit. Okay. Uh, no one. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Ooh, so no one's got a few options here. Why am I, like, got triangles around myself? I wish I didn't have that. I think you, uh, you might have accidentally targeted yourself. No. It's the button, button below selection in your uh, token buttons. Uh, so, I'm going to roll because there are two things no one could do. I'm not sure which one. Okay. No one is going to uh, Whatever. try to kick Vitericus into the mist. Who was going to do that? Oh, okay, fine. So this is, I am making this, uh, first of all, to hit, it's going to be an unarmed strike. If you got over that real quickly, I'm impressed. That's hey a, man, as long as someone did it. That's a 24. <gasps> Glory gobs. Okay, roll again. 20. God damn it, that hits. Okay. Oh no, Vinny! And now this is going to be a contested athletics check. <laughs> so please roll. Oh, come on. Oh, I have advantage on this. This is fun because I silvery barbed you. Okay. Come on, that's funny, man. Stay on the podium. I need you. Why that you is a 19 that? total. Okay, well, Whoa. he gets 13, but I think he actually gets. Yes, you get advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Uh, so... Wow, there's so many different <laughs> things happening. Why are you going to do me like this? So it's all coming down to this last athletics roll. Whoop, wrong button. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that 20 number 12 of the night. It's a 16, so that is not. Oh! Uh, you will still take a little bit of damage from the hit. No, thanks. But it's only seven points for bludgeoning damage. No, thanks. Oh, that's all right. Um, and he does not get his second attack, I'm saying, because uh, he was focusing and trying to knock you off. Uh, mm -hmm. So that does not happen. Nice try, my friend. Um... Single melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Uh, yeah, he is still frenzying, so he will get his third attack, though. Uh, which is going to miss with an 11. Oh, yes. Good. Whew. That is no one's turn. Paradise. Um, I'd like to... Fudging fudge. Sorry. There we go. Um... Uh, I would like to attack with my war pick. Hey, my war hammer. Oh, I rolled a two. Ten. Thank you. Um, and I would like to bonus action shield bash to try and shove him down. Okay. I just want to tell you that the song playing right now is Wasteland of Panda, uh, Sacrifice. It's kind of epic, epic. Pretty cool. Oh, it's... Hang on, it's... let me just... Let me just, uh, pull that up. Sorry, I keep going to my spell list out of habit. Shieldmaster! That's what I am. Yeah, um... So, uh, you have to make a dex... No, a dex or an athletics? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Uh, it doesn't say. This is so exciting. This is like an, I can take, Holy shit. shove a creature within five feet of you with my shield. I don't know. Is that a okay. save? Let me have a look. Uh, on your character sheet, uh, is it an action, a bonus action, or... It's a bonus action. Okay. Shield try Master to... Shove. Okay, uh, you can try to shove. So shove is... Oh, I have Shield Master Evasion? God damn it. Yep. Yep. So shove is uh, one of the staples of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's like uh, right. you can dodge, you can shove, you can... Mm -hmm. um... So... But we very rarely use it. You can Shoving. Special yeah, melee attack. Uh, if you're able to make... Target must be no more than one side. Okay, or... it is a strength at, at yeah. This is basically what we did the last time: strength of oh, I thought so. Contested by the target yeah. strength of athletics or dexterity, or dex. acrobatics, or dexterity, yeah. 
Okay. So I roll a strength check? Uh, yes. Uh, you uh, roll athletics? You roll athletics, and then Vitericus oh, rolls cool. athletics or acrobatics. Or acro. Yeah, it was the or acrobatics that I missed. I have a plus eight, but I only rolled a 16. Oof. Wow. Okay. Let's see if I'm still in the game. 17. <gasps> Oh, you bastard. <laughs> this lucky I hang on bard. by the skin of my bardic teeth. Which is also uh, bard life. Yes. And then I will use my second action. Oh, no. Um, a great peacock's tail appears above the battlefield and spreads out. And each one of its eyes is a, an extremely hypnotizing pattern. And I cast hypnotic pattern. Cube. So that's a 30-foot cube within range. Cubes. So I think that's everyone. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Looking like it. What do we got to do? Uh, it is a wisdom saving throw of 16. Sure it's not charisma? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely wisdom. Your rolls have been great tonight. You'll be fine. Don't like, say that. Yeah, but they're going to run out. Oh, not right now, though. That's a 21. Uh, yeah, see? Oh my god, I am loving this. This is nail biting. Uh, Zook, like, no, Zooka fails. Not just Mozart. <laughs> Zooka, no, not Zooka. 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 Why am I rolling for Zooka? Zooka's. I would hope Zooka would fail because yeah. she's face down. It's only no one I'm controlling in this fight now. Uh, and yeah. no one succeeded with a nat 20. Another one. 20s again. Oh, wow. Another crit. Dagmar, how are you looking? Dagmar? Um, yes, sorry. Wisdom saving throw. Do you have wisdom saving oh. throw, please? All of us. Sorry, I was not fully here. Wisdom, wisdom. I should. Oh I should have no, just, just negative one. You again. Uh, or whatever. Don't you? Nine. Yeah, it's fine. No, I'm plus three oh, okay. on the the wisdom. Oh, you're yeah, plus three. I'm a yeah. That uh, was a nine. <laughs> you are charmed, and you have a beat of zero. She was already charmed. Oh shit. I have a what? You're charmed, and you have yeah. a speed of zero. Oh. You're not going I anywhere. I don't like yeah. that. And that's yeah, me. Okay. So uh, charmed means you can't attack Paradise. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I don't care about him. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. I'm just, no, that's fine. This is, <laughs> this is a grudge, grudge match. I uh, know. I honestly, I don't want to interrupt you too. As soon as you get attacked, the advantage is going to go away. Mostly, I, my ideal was to kick Vitericus into the mist and then charm him, so he was incapacitated. But it didn't work out. So respect. Okay. Uh, at the end of that turn, uh, you'll be pleased to know the ground at your feet does not start to glow. I was oh, just about to say, there's only <laughs> so much room left. No one wins if we do that. I mm -hmm. mean, not no one, but like, you know. <laughs> Nobody wins. Well, I've been no, watching, um, not a one of us. <laughs> I've been catching up and watching the Overwatch League, and there's a player whose player name is someone. And <laughs> I, keep, I keep thinking that the casters have gotten confused about what just happened, but no, they're just referring to someone. <laughs> Vitericus, it someone is your turn. Someone just did something cool. Yeah. All right. Bonus action. We're maintaining heat metal. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to make it. Oh, wait, did I attack you? No, I missed. I don't have to make you make a concentration saving. Throw. Indeed. <laughs> so please That's go ahead why I wanted and to hit take you. another uh, 32 halve down to 16 damage out of heat metal. That is fine. Uh, and then I'm going to hit you with the Psychic Lance Paradise. I thought That's you might. Intelligence saving throw, please. Ah, very good. 23. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, please take seven, da uh, no, six damage out of that, because that's half of half. Six? Yep. Damage. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Uh, do I risk the opportunity attack from no one? Wow, there's not a lot to move with here, is there? <laughs> I think... I'm going to have to risk the opportunity attack from no one and end up over here. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. 
Well, you're still oh. within. F oh no, you'd have to. What? I'd no, have you'd, to move you'd have to, yes, you'd have have to go yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. hang on. Yeah. No, no, no. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Still... No, Dagmar's still taking hostile. Uh, no, yeah, so. yeah it's hostile. Yeah. Dagmar's not going to let me part the scooch through. So <laughs> this the one time attack of opportunity is going to hit you uh, with the twenty-seven, um, I believe. Mm, silvery box. Oh. Can you? Do you know that? Can you stop that? Okay. <laughs> 23. It's run out. 23 will still hurt, but I get advantage on my next whatever. They do eventually run out. I am burning spell slots at a rate of fucking knots. Uh, 13 <laughs> points of slashing damage, please. 13 Oof. points of slashing damage. That is not great, but at least I can't be knocked off the fucking thing anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. I will Everyone stop focus. trying to kick the Terracus. It's just a great big hug fest on the middle of this mm -hmm. massive mm -hmm. arena. Uh, my bonus action was to burn Definitely paradise, my action was to Psychic Lance, which you passed, and my movement was to jump over to here, so that's my turn. Cool. Uh, Dagmar's gonna... T repeat, she's gonna try and dagger no one. Okay. Since she can't fucking move. Um, alrighty. Dagger, one. Ugh, eleven. <laughs> Miss. Dagger two. Twenty-three. Hey. That hits. That's what we want. Uh, did she get advantage and... on the first attack because he's recklessly attacking all the time? Uh, no, mm. that is not how it uh. works. Oh no, because you you tried to throw me off the off the thing last time, so it yeah. wasn't a reckless attack. Never mind, carry on. That's yes, right. Yes, actually, She's... he's uh, no, he is still raging because he did do some damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Would he have relentless rage anyway? Yep, he does have Relentless Rage. Yeah, he's got Relentless Rage, so he's fine. Yeah, he just maintains his anger. Uh, That's so a secret. He will take six plus 31. So 37 <laughs> points Damn. of stab. Um, and that is halved uh, because. Mm -hmm. uh, Raging, but that is still a lot. Oh, maths. Is that with all your ruggy bits? Yeah, yeah, that is with all my ruggy bits. 18? 19, I think. Yeah, 19. It's 19. I've typed it in, so it is 19. Excellent. Uh, still your turn, Dagmar? So. Do you know, got any bonuses you can do? Uh, none that don't involve moving around. You can uh, dodge again. impose. Doesn't dodge impose, impose disadvantage on someone trying to hit you? Yep, you can dodge. Bonus action. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or you can make a second stabbing attack, um, though you won't get sneak attack. Which you've already done. You've done your two stabs. Oh, right. Yeah, I already, because I missed my first stab. Uh, yeah, I will, I will do a dodge. Okay. Well, hang on. Can I do that? Because you get two attacks a turn anyway, right? I'm just checking. No, you only get one attack per turn. Oh, okay. Cool. So, sorry. Yeah. So the, yeah, yeah. So the second stab my... is your bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Then I'm cool. done. So that's it. Yep. Okay. Easy. Apologies. Uh, action economy. Who knows? <laughs> no There's one. so many things to keep track of. No mm -hmm. one has decided <laughs> that this... Um, uh, no one's just going to try to hit Dagmar. Straight yeah. up. I mean, this is basically the title match again before Vatericus had the mm -hmm. belt. Mm -hmm. uh, we love a callback. Recklessly, with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, <laughs> we're friends outside of the... Uh, Trad has been loving this. ...arena as well. For sure, right? I feel like uh, this is... dropping a... popcorn on <laughs> whoever's sitting in front I'm of him. I'm coming to the point where I'm going to start screen capping these nat 20s for you. Oh god, another crit oh, into that. Stop! Dagmar. You have to put a nat 20 counter on this episode. This is ridiculous. Oh, that's this so many nat ridiculous. 20s. That's like 10 nat 20s in a night. That's There has been of. so many. The, the RNG is broken at the moment. Like the next game you play, you're going to roll all nat 1s. And mm. that'll be good because we'll be together and then it'll be your monsters. <laughs> the damage rolls are terrible. That's only 12 points from a nat only 20 on a, on a, on a polex. Can um, I uncanny dodge a crit? You can, yes. Cool, yeah, I'm going to take six of those. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> he can keep the others. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want those. We're just oh. halving each other's attacks yeah. the whole time. Cool. <laughs> uh, second attack is a 21 uh, to hit. Yeah. <laughs> For nine points of slashing damage. Fine. <laughs> Dex is going to die. And nah, she's fine. Frenzy and attack. Right oh, frenzy attack. <laughs> she's not fine. Oh, that's only a 12 to hit. Hey. Phew. Okay, that is no one's turn. Paradise. Am I getting invited to raids? Uh, at I this would like hour? to. Uh, one of my actions to lay on hands. Uh, for 65 hit points. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> here. Cool. Back up to full health. Um. You fucking what? Hey, man, I've got to deal with you two. You two are a lot. <laughs> and then I would like to go for Vitericus with uh, my Warhammer error. Uh, now, I forgot this last turn, but you have disadvantage yeah. whenever you attack because your chest plate is melting. Oh. Also, my understanding is that you only get... A, it is multiple attacks per action. It is not multiple actions that you get. Ah, uh, yes. Um, so you oh, can, attacks per yeah, action. So you can too. use your action so still... to lay on hands, or you can use your action or to, do, attack twice. to do multiple yeah. attacks. Yeah. Was that bonus uh, action as an action? Lay on hands. Yeah, you've got to get those hands in there real good. Yeah, yeah. It's not That's just a me. light touch. You've really got to... Oh, let me just check my bonus up. actions real quick. Oh, I can do that as a bonus action? Oh, no, never mind, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. And we are back to Vitericus as the, the, cr the crowd is starting to go quiet with tension of, you know, the, you, you've got the last few sort of circling around each other, beaten and bloodied. Honestly, but... at this point, just kick me off. It bonus is... action, 20 points of damage from heat metal. That's halved. Is that halved already? That yep. is halved, so it was 41 on the roll, which is not a bad roll. Uh, I've really Are you got it. Gonna psychic in... glance me again? It... <sighs> Come on. You need to steal his brain. I have a question for the DM. Yes. Is the mist obviously dangerous ground? Yes. Shit. Um, ah. I will psychic glance you. You make me wander into shit. Get out of here with your illusions. I was going to make you wander into it. <laughs> Get out of here. I hate you. <laughs> that would have been cool. Um, Does he yes. have a weapon, by the way? I'm just curious. I'm just asking. <laughs> he has a whip, a shitty old rapier, and his daggers on him somewhere. He has not drawn okay, any I, of them over the course I of this I was just wondering fight. what he had. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, he's got a flame rapier. He's going to hit me with that. But then I was like, wait, that's magic. It is magic, and I definitely don't Never have mind. it at the moment. Um, so, uh, intelligent saving throw, please. Gotta fail one at some. Pretty good, twenty-one. God damn it! Nah. Not this time, though. Oh, uh, sorry, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, so that's four damage out of that psychic glance. Okay. Uh, are you like starting to waste high-level spells on this? What are you doing? Uh, Dying. I have already used a few high-level spells on this. That was a lower-level version of that particular spell. Oh, okay. Um. Hey, you do what you want. And I guess that is probably because bonus We're doing the burn, same thing. Attack. Uh, do you need to? Do you have concentration on anything that you need to roll for with that twenty damage or whatever? No. Cool. I mean, I dropped fly, so yeah, easy. A hypnotic pattern no longer exists. No, that's only that's just yeah. In instant. Yeah. Okay. Turn. I tap the chess clock, and we're now on Dagmar's time. <laughs> Dagmar. Yeah. Um, again, we're going to go in with daggers because Dagmar briefly considered calling in a devil to help her level up, but she's not going <laughs> to. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa, come on, man. It's just an arena fight. Holy shit. Now that would have been something. Oh my god, instead like, of Angadon, it's just she drops down the devil woman and kills us all with her little she... boy warlock in tow. <laughs> 
She didn't think about it hard enough to call the de the devil, but she like she's like, oh, okay. for a moment, this is there. not a, this is not a good enough. Write reason that down. Full evil. <laughs> You're just giving him fodder. Like she doesn't want to murder a guy in a cell, but she does want to beat her friend. <laughs> okay, so attack roll one. Uh, twelve. Misses. Against uh, no one, obviously. Uh, misses is, he, yes. is he looking rough? Is he looking rough, sorry? He is not. He was Attack oh, yeah, shit. He's, a barb. he's just been tanking all the hits. 26 hits. Cool, because this is my last <laughs> attack, I'm pretty sure. Um, cool. For the record, there. no one has leveled up since you last fought him. Only two mm -hmm. levels, though. Mm -hmm. He was a level 10, he is now a level 12. So that's 30... Damage oh, all up. Boy, need Part of it. Off. Whatever. I don't know if I can take no one. I don't think I could fight him. I mean, uh, clearly this is the title match. <laughs> no one is now bloodied. Oh, okay, nice. but that just means he's <laughs> below half. That could mean a lot of things. <laughs> Dagmar's been bloodied since like round two. Hmm. Uh, anything uh, else? All... Okay. No one is going to return in kind. <clears throat> <laughs> we. Uh, and with advantage for the first attack, uh, twenty is going to hit. Yes. Yes. Flaccid twenty. Uh, for. I don't think anything about this bro is flaccid at the moment. Uh, <laughs> seven points of slashing damage. Just throwing that out there. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you still up? in that 20s. Um, I mean, I could have it, but... <laughs> Please do. Please do. <laughs> hang in there, okay. hang in there. Hang in I'm there. I'm going have that. Stoke a second attack so I don't get hit twice. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, 19 will hit. It will. For another seven points of slashing damage. Dagmar is going to die with the most dramatic flair you've ever seen a dwarf die with. <laughs> she is okay. clutching. She is grasping at the sky. She is bleeding from many places. And as soon as Dagmar hits the ground... And sh the last thing she says is going to be, Avenge me! To no one in particular. Um, uh, who and is she's going to kind of... Sh <laughs> so, no one in particular is, of course, the person who just struck you down. I was going to uh, say... I am! <laughs> Sorry. To nobody you. in particular. And um, as soon as she hits the ground, she stabilizes and is fine, but unconscious. Uh, and I'm out. So, no one gets a one more attack, uh, because he is frenzying, and that is going to go against the bard. Why? I'm hurt. Paradise yeah. just healed completely. Oh, yeah, scream. but you're so squiggly. You're always doing things. Oh, Sorry, just have to scream. And you're easier to again. hit than gleaming plate metal. Yeah. <gasps> did you get another net twenty? Another net you twenty. You did not. You're kidding. Silvery Stop. Barbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reroll that shit. Thank you very much. How many much. do you have? They're endless. Okay, that is just a twenty-one then. We that still hits, head. but it's not a crit. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ almighty, and that would have been a brutal crit, right, too? Yeah, that would have hurt like a motherfucker. 13 Ooh. points of slashing damage. There you go. I will take that and not like it, but I will accept it. And you have to make a constitution saving throw, please. I would rather not. Um, uh, and I have advantage on my next saving throw because of Silvery Barbs, so... Uh, that is a 20 non-nat to maintain heat metal. And how much damage did you take? Uh, 13? Something like that? Uh, yeah, oh, you're yeah, fine. It's, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, that is no one's turn. I can't believe all these people get turns in between all my turns. This is ridiculous. Paradise. It's unfair. Tell me about it. It is unfair. Wildly unfair. Uh, that's... You should, you should submit no. a petition. I should. Uh, I would like to... Ba -ba -da -ba. Warhammer against Vitericus, please. Okay. Why? 22. With disadvantage? Because your armor's all hot? True. Yeah, 22. Okay, 22 hits. All your damage. Um, get out of here. Move. Move. Oh, I hate it when I touch something and the sidebar pops up on D&D Beyond. No. 
Um, so 10 points of bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. And then divine smite. Oh, no, you're going to get a smoot. Mm. I'd rather you didn't. Uh, is so... smite a smell? Is smite a smell? Yeah, smite's a smell, I think. It's a spell? Yeah. Counter spell. I don't know, oh, no, if you I've can counter spell reaction. divine smite. You've already reaction. used your reaction, yeah. yeah. Can you counter spell divine smite? I don't know. No, well, it's a spell I can counter. But... If you really believe. Mm. Uh, sorry, I've just lost it. So I'm doing it at a higher level. Of course you are. So that is. Sorry, as I read things. Two, three, forty-eight. Don't like it. Don't like mm. that. Don't like mm -mm. that. Mm. Oh, those were good. Twenty-seven points of radiant damage. Cool. Uh, erupts into birds, right? Yeah, birds. Just flocks cool. of birds. As your war warhammer connects with, I assume, the base of Vatericus's chin, um, his lyrebird tail pops out in a suitably dramatic fashion as he tips oh. over the edge of the platform no. and fades into unconsciousness. Okay. <laughs> and uh, a beautiful anything, fight. Anything else? A uh, great weight lifted paradise. from David. Because the, yeah, they can the, attack again. the victor has not yet been decided. We need to know who gets this I'm, belt. I don't know if I can fight a barbarian. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to attack. Attack him. With my Warhammer. Which he's resistant to, and I don't roll very high. 16. Uh, 16 will hit no one. He's With disadvantage. Okay. Oh no, heat metal's gone. Never mind. Ignore mm. me. I'm unconscious. I'm dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, eight points of bludgeoning. Now it's a bonus action to smite, so I don't know if I can do it again. Uh, no, you but, cannot. Right. Hmm. Oh, I don't think it is a bonus action. It's no action. I can do it again. It is. No, bonus action should be a, a smite should be a bonus says, action to cast. It just says when I hit with a melee weapon attack. It doesn't say bonus action. Yeah, this yeah. no action. You, you, you get an extra smitey bit that you can bonus action with, but... Like, there's also the smite that just comes... I think that's Searing Smite. I think Searing Smite, you can use a bonus action to burn, but this has no action. Okay. It's just true. Yeah. The Divine Smite. The Divine Smite him. I mean, you can just look at my character sheet. Or is that a Channel Divinity thing? It says Divine Smite. Okay. Yeah, it's a separate yeah. thing, too. No, no action. Cool. When you hit with a melee... When you hit with a melee weapon attack. Yep. So, I will use my, I will do 3d8 extra damage. Okay. It only takes half of the Warhammer damage, yeah. or it will take the full Radiant damage. So 13 points of Radiant damage. Okay. I can't fight a Barbarian. Anything else on your turn? No. Okay, now we have a question. We are getting late. Um, it's mm. uh, about our time to finish. Uh, do we want to resolve this end of the encounter at the beginning of the next Please. session? Please. Okay. No. <laughs> Can we just finish it now? Okay. I can't handle this over the week. <laughs> uh, look, I've already planned to work from home tomorrow. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tomorrow's my day off. <laughs> uh, so at the end of the turn, uh, a wizard will dimension door uh, in and just scoop up Dagmar and Dimension Door out. So Dagmar has been removed from the fight, just to make, just in case, um, you know, any blows go wide. Nuclear. Vitericus uh, is not, Vitericus' body gets to yeah, stay there. Because Vitericus <laughs> fell into the mist and they're happy to let, yeah, cool. let him lie there. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> because you take a, maybe you took, maybe you took a, um, uh, uh, maybe you lost one death saving throw because you fell when you went unconscious, but then you oh, immediately fuck. stabilized because of the lesser death ward. Dagmar right. would a, like a, to be put somewhere near a beer. A brief stop in with Angadon. Because I'm dead again. Okay. It is. Jenny, it began because you died. No one's turn. WSL, you ran and then you died. Oh, I can't fly anymore. And no one who is raging is going to, uh, yeah, just pop.
Polex, Polex, Polex. 16 doesn't hit, does it? Oh, wait, with no. advantage. 19? No. Nope. Still doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Second attack. Thank God I didn't take my plate off. 25. Yeah. I was just yeah, that hit that. Uh, 14 points of slashing damage. Mm hmm. Uh, yep. And frenzy attack is 28 to hit. Or yep. seven points of slashing damage. <laughs> That's his turn. Okay. I'm going to hit him with my warhammer. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is 19? Just coming down to a slugfest, and I love it. 19 uh, to hit. 19 hits. His armor class is 15, just to speed this up. Five points of bludgeoning halved. And then. Oh, man. Oh, uh, man. 38 radiant. And you've got a bonus, so you can use a, a spearing smite or something like that. I don't have searing smite, it's a regular. Okay. Um, 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. And, uh, do it again. Sure. Uh, it's not going to hit 12. Uh, no, that does not hit. And then as a bonus action, I will pop out of existence and pop back into existence and he takes three points of fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> Blink elf. Love it. That's all I, that's all I got, man. Um, so at this point, it really is a, a slug fest as, as they're getting slow and time just wham, wham. And with each blow, the crowd roars and cheers. Oh, this and is like Ooh. that end that end of the Dragon Ball Z episode where they're just both wrecked but still going. <laughs> and we're back to no one's turn. Uh, screenshotting this. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop. Here's the thing. It's, it's always been no one. He just keeps getting these 20s. Um, Insane. 63 so, rep vibes. 63. Wow. What dice are those? That's the clockwork Shit. one? Uh, that is the clockwork ones. Apparently I'm swapping to those now. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. fucking changing dice. That's not how it works. It absolutely it is. is how it works. I mean, this episode proves that pretty wrong i think nope collections my dice i mean they're digital dice they could be bugged they could be bugging the dice okay so yeah uh, okay, please I've dice bugged doing the maths for all that lovely damage um that's 21 points of slashing damage uh-huh and then second attack uh 19 doesn't wait hit, wait 21 no no 23. Did he do that first one? Was that reckless? Was that disadvantage? He still got the no twenty. Was that was that reckless? Um, just a reg uh, just first roll was twenty. Just a regular attack. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, Fine. I'm trying to save myself. Third attack, uh, frenzy attack, is a twenty three. That hits. Yep. For a measly nine points of slashing damage. Your turn. Okay. Um, I'm just reading in snare real quick. If he's restrained, he can still hit me, hey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, no point. He's so close to me. All right, hit him with my warhammer. Ah, oh, the clockwork dice have failed me. 12. Miss. <sighs> hit him again. <laughs> they found me again. I rolled a one. Oh. This is garbage. That's it. The gods are on Rexland's side. Not Rexland, no one's. No one's, yeah. yeah. No, no one's, one's should be the reigning champion, the yeah. Now, a 16. Oh, div oh, wait, with advantage. I'm pretty sure yeah, no. this was meant to be. It's two 16s, so they both miss. Why was he getting advantage? Oh, because he's. Because he's he mad. Yeah. No, 20... isn't, it, isn't that dead? disadvantage? No, whatever. 22 hits. No, he hits with advantage, and then you hit him with advantage. And then I hit him with advantage, yeah. Um, And. Okay, 22 hits you for only 7 points, and then a 24 hits you for another 14 points of slashing damage. Whoa. Maybe we should have teamed up on him. Did you say 14? Yep. Yeah. That's his turn. Um, I'm going to hit him with my Warhammer. <laughs> 
18 to hit. Yes. Yeah, boy. He's only 15. I have plus 8 to hit. I can't believe I missed two attacks in a row. Uh, so that is... 7 points of bludgeoning halved. Then 2d8 radiant. 8 points of radiant. Still standing. Of course he is. God, this is and then brutal. he's a barbarian, so he's going to drop to one hit point, and he's going to die, and he's going to come back. 17 hit points. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, hits. <laughs> I don't have 17 hit points. Five points of bludgeoning halved. 88 radiant. Five points of radiant. Still standing. It doesn't matter! He's gonna pop back to one hit point when I kill him anyway! The half orc strikes back. I've definitely seen oh, that film. Misses. <laughs> uh, this feels attack. a little bit like uh, karma. I don't know. I don't know why I'm hanging on for. Hits with a 26 for 16 oh, points of slashing damage. For honor! Astropia <laughs> uh, and the Splendid falls down in a uh. golden... A golden <laughs> flock of birds. The <laughs> crowd goes wild. Uh, ankle ankle slicer screams. We have a winner! <laughs> I f no I forgot one. that I could no uh, one. use yep. the thing to get rid Connie, of damage. So Connie in the front row, absolutely mm -hmm. losing it. Connie him. is uh, ecstatic. Um, yeah, we do it for Connie. We do everything for Connie because no one is her favorite. And yes. she doesn't know Paradise. Uh, she's not seen Paradise before, so... Even well yeah. before time. Her favourite has well beaten the stranger. Yeah. <laughs> the one who tried to be prettier than Rexlin. <laughs> um, and that is where we're going to end uh, tonight's session. Um, and no all, one! No one! As, uh, n with you know, that image of no one... Uh, you know, blood streaming out and bruised and is barely recognizable at this point and the clerics are rushing in the mist is dispersed um heels are being done all around um and no one holds up uh the uh champion uh, the belt of the champion um <laughs> and uh, that is the end of tonight's session next week uh we shall see where our heroes go from here because uh there are some threads uh, that still need to be pulled on in the wandering isles and there are some uh deadly foes that await them so thank you very much for watching we'll be back in a week see ya mm -mm.